Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Welcome to the show. Yeah, how thanks you for been? coming on, How have you been? Yeah, I'm not bad, mate. I'm not bad. I'm excited to be here. We've been trying to, like, arrange yeah. it. We've been trying to arrange it. You're a busy man. No, I t- it's just because, like, obviously I live far away, so it's sometimes a little bit of a nightmare to, like, organise it, and then you guys are so busy as well, but we found... What is what is the journey? Is it Plymouth, isn't it? Yeah. What is the journey from Plymouth to London like? Do you know what? It's not too bad. Like, it's one train. It's just, like, so it's long. It's three hours, just over three hours normally up. Then it depends where you are in London. So here, obviously, this is uh, East London, so it's yeah. on the other side. So sometimes probably like four hours total. Jesus. It's not too bad. But if I don't, if I do a stream the night before, yeah. don't sleep, do it. The, the way home is sometimes quite long. Do you, like, do you get up like a bit of like TV? Do you watch something on the train? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're on a How I Met Your Mother binge. How I Met Your Mother? Mother? Yeah. Oh, my God. I've never binged it. You've never, have you watched it? <laughs> I've watched it, I watched it on like, is it on like E4? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It was E4 yeah, yeah. back then. The do, do you know, I have just started, actually you, you two obviously a little bit older than I am, different generation and all that. Um, 30, you're 30, I'm only 22. And um, What am I'd, I? Huh? What am I? Well, you're 31. <laughs> right, right, okay. okay. Um, have you watched the OC? <laughs> do you know what? I don't think so. I know of it. In the Mackey's days, the crew room, the TV was literally oh, glued to E4. Oh, you have that usually yeah, yeah. in common. It, was yours ever glued to We had David E4 and it was nothing else. No, we actually had a remote control. Oh, did you? <laughs> we did. We did it. I was actually turned on the TV and people were just too lazy. Like, if you just, once you got your tray, you were sat down. It was like, anyone want to change it? No, right, fine. No, we, 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 we had a, 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 a working remote control. It was wow. tight, though. There wasn't a lot of room in that crew room. So it, what would you, what generally would people choose to put on at your McDonald's? The, the the TV would be on, but no one would be watching it. Yeah, so but everyone I mean, would be on most, their phones. Yeah, but surely there's a point at which you look up and go, oh. Oh, it, it would be YouTube uh, music okay. videos. Really? Yeah, it would be YouTube music videos. And then I'd be, you know, doing a rendition of like Angels or something like that in the corner. <laughs> Um, how many how many years of service did you do at McDonald's? Eight, service. eight years. Jesus Christ, he blows, me, he blows me out of the water. Yeah. He's a colonel. What, what, so what are you, two? I was two and a half. Two and a half. That's still a decent slog, though. It, it, it felt a lot longer. That's yeah. It. What What did you get up to out there? What What, what position did you gain rank to? Uh, well, I was a floor manager at the end. Shut up. In the end, we're yeah. in presence of greatness. Nah, not <laughs> very long. Nah, we're in not, presence of greatness. Not for very long. I was, I was, because I did like nights for probably a good like three years in a row. Bloody hell! But they, but I, we, <laughs> they all know what I mean when you say I was a bit of a cowboy. Oh, okay. Like, so, like, I was efficient, but they don't really like people that don't do things as exactly how they want yeah, them to do it. It has yeah. to be by the book. The real managers do because they want it done quickly, and you're just you know the ones that you can say right. Do you want me to do it or do you want me to do it? Yeah, and you can. Like, because for example, I, I used to try and say this when it comes to cleaning the oil vats, oh. you can, you can do it. You can probably do a 95% job in Quickly. In, in 20 minutes yeah. or you could do a hundred percent job in two and a half hours. Right. If you were to, if you were to stand there and wait for the time it has to run through. Yeah. But obviously on a busy night, they just don't give you enough staff. Yeah. So the real ones, you, you say, do you want it done? You can still do a good enough job. The worst overnight is when it's actually busy on an overnight. Oh, horrible. And, and, Cause on an overnight, the, your sole purpose is to like clean. Yeah. yeah, you have to clean. You've got, you got to get ready for clean the next day, organize. right? Yeah. But then you get the, the, the idiots coming in at 3 a.m. Mm. And it's like, go away. We're in the middle of cleaning the... The, the McDonald's you worked at, is that the one that we stop at usually? New from? Haven Mackey's. That, the one that we went to... Yep. Ooh. Before, but yeah. New Haven. Uh, did you ever get this thing? So you, uh, do you have a drive through obviously? Yeah, we yeah. were a drive through Did you ever get the... Uh, actually, you probably didn't. Because you don't have a port. Do you have a port in Plymouth? Yes. yes you do huge. have a port. Do you ever? Yeah. Okay, so did you ever get a coach coming in with school kids? Oh, no. I don't think nothing like that. I don't think ours was big enough to have So that. we were right next to a, yeah, uh, a port, which is a oh, France, so you mean New if Haven. You're next, if you're literally... Yeah, so right we were New Haven to Dieppe. It's a, as a, as a, as a, yep. as a heavy crossing line, a heavy fishing line. Not fishing line, cross, fer, 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 yeah, ferry yeah. port. And we always got coaches coming in from schools and like old people. And my manager would be like... Coach, 17 fries down. Wow. Get yeah, them down. Ridiculous. Yeah. Get them down. I, I loved I it. I resonate. Yeah, I can just... I lived for it. I absolutely loved it. What's your favourite thing about working Bad at McDonald's? Bad the hatches. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> I think, for me, it just has to be the people. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's always the best thing. I'm, just, I'm friends with pretty much all the people I work with still now. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really cool. It's, I tell you one thing though, I worked there before it was on like Uber Eats. So I, had, I think a night shift now. In a, Is like, it? 
Is there? Is it worse now that it's on? Oh, it must be terrible. It must be. It it never stops. No, I mean we don't have twenty four hours in Plymouth. Everything shuts at like eleven. Oh, really? Yeah, we don't. We don't have. I mean, we've got like uh, just eat and stuff, or do like your classic takeaway. But our McDonald's. They are 24 hours. We've got a few. Yeah. But they don't do... I mean, I'd hate to be in, on an overnight where they had... Mate, we was... I so we, Again, I was there before Uber Eats, but we had a 24-hour McDonald's overnight. And it, you have to do the cleaning and doing orders at the same time. Right. And honestly, it could be a nightmare. But do, do you, with Uber Eats getting introduced and like delivery services introduced, are they not... Do people are there not more jobs? I mean, it sounds so, like, like people have their individual roles now. Or to be fair, you probably are right. They've probably got a different system where yeah. they have literally people that are in just to clean. Exactly. And put them yeah. In. But still, though, that crossover won't be easy because you, it, there's a lot to do. Yeah. Like to get the place ready to go for the next day. Yeah. How like, I, I'm obviously not in the McDonald's world. I've never done service at uh, the company. It's okay. How, how high is floor manager? It's pretty high. Like how many, how many? I, uh, no, it is. You got what? Crew member, crew trainer. Yeah, I did that for like years. But yeah. I don't, I think I trained like one person in about six years. Really. <laughs> yeah, you're looking I, used at, to, I was not, a, like, I was not really a, not really a fan of the training aspect. You see, I, I was sort of the, uh, the cool guy at the store. I turned down all the crew trainer roles. I wanted to stick to my roots and stay, stay as crew member. Like Top Gun Maverick. Yes. I'm not saying it, but yes. Oh, really? I did have the four stars, Have you seen obviously. it? I kept... Mate, no, kept... is that the new one? <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't. I've not even seen Top Gun original. No, oh. you've revived. No, never. Oh, watch yeah. it. It's unbelievable. I know I, I can't really talk about it because yeah. you guys haven't seen it, but in uh, in Maverick, he's so qualified. He's like probably one of the best part, if not the best pilot on the planet, but he remains at captain level for his entire career. That's like me. Yeah. That was that's, like me. That's what I'm trying to get at. That was, that was me. Yeah. You're you know, one of the cool kids, were you? I, I eventually gave, I eventually Tom Cruise in McDonald's. Like, <laughs> that's a new buyer. Keep constantly giving me the books to do. And I was like, oh, fuck me. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll do a crew training book. And uh, yeah, I just left. I didn't, I didn't end up doing it. What's your favorite story about working at McDonald's? <laughs> oh, mate. There's two, I think there's, there's like, there's too many. We just had so many, it's like, we just had so many crazy nights. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, I've had a lot that we've, like, discussed the past. I'm thinking I've had, I've been caught eating a few times. That's oh, what happened we I, used to, I was a proper, like... Is that a frown thing? We call it quality testing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the difference is, though, the difference is, is there are managers, for example, you tend to find in a place like McDonald's, if you're, like, I tried to be a grafter, and they, they will kind of look after you, that they'll turn a blind eye to things that if they know you're, you know, they want to keep you happy, because they know you're the ones that are going to, because yeah. there are people that just are, yeah. uh, you know, lazy, they don't want to do anything, so they think, right, if they're the ones that are going to do the work, we'll just sort of turn a blind eye, but I've had it where... I just, I was emptying a bag of pickles or whatever. I just went to... Oh, like, no, like, mate, straight. no. That's not even a no, good thing no, to no, do. Fight. No, no. I, I mean, imagine getting done for eating a pickle. No. I, my, 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 she's a good friend of mine, my manager, Stacey. The, the classic, like, very, like, staring manager, but you got full respect. She came round. I thought, I just thought, shit. And, like, she just saw me, like, mid. She's like, you, office. I thought, fuck. Office now. Yeah, I was That's literally, outrageous. you, it was, even, there was no name. But it it's a pickle. You. Yeah, but it's just a pickle. Say, I did get caught by a customer eating, uh, I was having, because they, they've got, like, the cleaning area is, is in direct of the drive through window. Yes. So it's on the top window, like, cleaning and doing other stuff. I thought, right, well, they, they were being thrown out, so I thought, I'll eat a chicken select. All they've done is, you're supposed to That's wait. That's a better choice. But you're supposed like to wait. You're versus. supposed to wait at, the, at the, the box, but they didn't. They just drove around. So I didn't get an alert. I didn't know they were at the window, so I was just cashed out <laughs> in a mug. I've served them. They haven't actually said anything for the snakes, by the way, because they haven't actually said anything to me at the window. They'd been very polite about their order, and they'd rung up to comp- I'd come in the next day, like, oh, we had a complaint come in last night, but you were on the... So in the area eating, but there's there's no camera there. So yeah. I said, well, it wasn't me. And they were like, well, we know it was. I said, how? And they're like, well, because the customer said, well, have you got any evidence? And they're like, well, no. So there you go, it wasn't me. They're fuming. They couldn't we had, do anything. We had, they probably thought it was like, we had a couple of hiding spots from the cameras. Everyone, everyone knew the hiding the spots. Blind the blind spots. Spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that, so I want to I touch on this uh, pickle thing you were talking about. Yeah. Because fucking hell, I've talked about it in the past. I said one of the worst smells I've ever smelled in my life is when you cut open that pickle. Oh, bag. I love it. Oh, it's horrendous. And you're pouring the pickle juice out. Oh my God. It actually gave me nightmares. Really? It was one of the worst things I, did, I despised. Now, pickles. the onion, I didn't like the feel of the onion. No, it's the pickles, man. It was rough. You know, the cleaning the oil vats. That's how I got, I got a scar on my arm. Just oh, here. yeah. I've got, I've got a few things. Well, sorry, my finger's a bit dodgy at the minute anyway. Had a, right. I've got, I've got a, cut, a, a scar on one of my knuckles. Actually, that was me and my friend had a, had a scrap. 
Uh, well, not a, not like a scrap like a spatula. Scrap. No, 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 not a scrap scrap. We were having he was having a few issues with his missus at the time, um, and uh, and I said, "Oh, you coming on Xbox?" And like, he went, "Oh no, no, I can't. I'm busy." I went, "Oh, she hid the remote again." <laughs> he didn't like that comment, and we had like our manager was fuming. Like we were stood on where it used to be, where you had the burgers like cooked. Yeah, yeah. we were having a right row. They're like, "Yeah, right, you two. If you're in a scrap, take it outside." I'd gone, opened the fridge door, and smacked the inside of the freezer and busted me. Oh like, my hand. days! Yeah. I got Jesus. locked in the freezer once. How did you manage to get locked well, in? You purposely for 15 minutes. Well, for a challenge? <laughs> no, no, I, I'd, I'd rocked up. To, oh, my God. It's like, it was like a 6 a.m. start or something like that, and I'd been out since like 5. And no, that's <laughs> never good. And I, I, I rocked up. I was, like, I was definitely hammered. Definitely hammered. My dad had to drop me off, and, and the manager <laughs> saw me and was like, you are, you are not working. And she put me in the freezer for 15 minutes to sober me it's up. It's not a bad idea, really. Maybe 10, maybe. I don't know. It felt like a long 15 <laughs> minutes. 45 minutes. Did it sort you out? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a little bit. And then I, they took me out and they were like, right, you clearly can't work still. So I had to... Oh, uh, so you didn't even get the benefit of working? Did they no, I didn't. No, they, they, did, they gave me a very a, a little job. The, the, you know the um, the smoothie machine? Yeah. So one of the bags had leaked into a tray and all the caramel frappe. Oh, thing. that was a night. You get that everywhere. <laughs> and it had spilled on the tray. Oh, my days. I, it's, it took me about an hour and a half. It was vile. Really? Yeah, it was nasty. That's not a nice job. Or what about when you spilled, you know, when you had to top up the milkshake machine? Oh. When you accidentally spill it. You're talking about things I don't know. You had to be there. Yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, yeah, you had to be there for the inside, for the inside knowledge. It annoyed me. I saw a TikTok. I've, I mentioned this before. I saw a TikTok of like, and it had a stupid amount of views and people saying, oh, I didn't know that. Like some guy giving absolute bullshit about why the McFlurry machine doesn't work. It's quite boring, really. It's just not cold enough. Yeah. Is that actually the reason? Genuinely, they, they can't have, because they're so big, and really expensive. They won't have more than one in a store. They just take up so much room. Yeah. And space is everything. Yeah. And in the summer, when it's so busy, it will just happen yeah. that they just pour so quickly. The machine just cannot. It, ta- it takes like a good half hour. Yeah, to clean yeah. it be cleaned as well. Oh, so it's not for the reason of well, the, the no no reason of uh, what? P- people t- just can't be able to clean. Yeah, it whatever bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it cleans itself. The newer ones, the self, cl- the new yeah. ones self clean themselves, and you have to take it apart like once a week. It's insane. It's on like a treatment cycle, but it has to, the actual system has to freeze down in order for it to work. So if it's going too quickly, so they have to stop selling them. Yeah. But because as I say, they're so big, mm. they can't have more than one. Did you ever do some, uh, some went during the Monopoly? Did you ever do this? Let me just go get, oh, oh, oh I've, I've dropped the boxes, I've dropped the boxes. Yes. I've dropped the box, yeah. you can't serve the yeah. box. I need to put it yeah. in a bin and take the stick yeah. off and oh, I've won a donut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. I am very, really? McDonald's, I am very sorry. I am very sorry. <laughs> Dave, That's D- genius. Dave, okay. Dave, the used donut the store is absolute legend. They were very sorry. That may have happened a couple of times. If you're going outside, definitely if you're outside as well, like carrying a stack of them. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the they've wind. The, yeah, they've touched the floor, nothing, nothing. That's the thing, what's it touches the floor? Uh, that could kill someone. <laughs> yeah. Pal Mal for the 50th time. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what was it? Uh, part Lane, Part Lane, Part Lane, Part Lane, Part Lane, Part Lane. Wait, it was uh, Part Lane uh, Apple Pie or something? No, Part Lane was... Uh, you Does needed Part Lane a- Mayfair, but uh, like every other box oh, had Part Lane. Oh, I see. Okay. Every other box had Part Lane on it. What well, was I, it. What's the rarest thing to get then? I think it's, it was like 100 grand if you got like Mayfair. It was always in like somewhere very obscure. Do you remember? There was like a big conspiracy, wasn't there? Like... Someone won Mayfair. One, Someone one did year. get Mayfair. Some sixteen-year-old apparently bought. Like oh, is a, it that? Is that the one that you have to get then? Well, yeah, they bought. I think it, genuine. I think they bought like a medium Fanta or something, just a drink, and they peeled it and it had Mayfair on it. But there was a there was one guy. I can't remember. It was a while ago, and he won. Okay, he won like the biggest prize, or whatever. And they had, he had basically cheated somehow. He knew someone at McDonald's, a friend of a friend, and they tried to hide the relationship and he got caught out. Oh. Yeah. But apparently they send, they send the winner prizes to the match obscure fixing. location. <laughs> yeah, match fixing and Monopoly. There's a lot of money up there. I'm surprised yeah. no one never came to your store in Plymouth. That's a bit of middle of nowhere. I genuinely do <laughs> not think, no- I, it's, it's, there's a big, I, a I do not place. think in the years I worked there, I saw anyone win anything more than a Big Mac. 
Like, I, I don't think anybody even claimed one of the, the mm. brown prizes, the mm. worst possible thing. I don't think I ever saw that. What was your uh, lunch system like in terms of, did you have like a point system or what food you could take? To be fair, it was pretty good. It was it was medium meal with a dessert yeah. or a large meal, no dessert. Yeah. Is basically they, what it they, was. They yeah. introduced a point system to us they, later on. They would get strict because people would never record what they had because mm. they, for food waste and stuff. And then it would, then it would start. I was very passionate about making sure people wrote it down. I did not, <laughs> I was in a bad way and I lived. That's a real floor well, manager. No, I, I, I lived on McDonald's. I would stay extra hours for food. That's that's what it would. You know, that's what it would come to. Nice. Like, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Can you stay down for a couple hours? No, we'll give you a meal. Done. One thing. One thing I miss from McDonald's is the delis. The, oh, the chicken salad deli. Yeah. yeah. Chicken and bacon deli was oh, so good. So, it, the, They're the wraps. Right? Apart from when someone well, gets a got veggie the wrap deli. And got a deli, so it's a different bun. It's a oh, different, it is a different and, and they use shredded beautiful. lettuce instead shredded of lettuce, oh, cool, yeah. shredded lettuce different bun it's better than a chicken lettuce it, it goes is. for a better toaster yeah. oh, oh, I do remember them word. they Very were nice why but they got rid of them I will never know we said people ordering the veggie one that's always a nightmare oh, you had to put it in its own busy thing. yeah Oops. the veggie stuff all yeah, very can't be used yeah. meat, I had to get like there was like a green tray and that oh the green, the green tray the green knife there was like a green knife that's cut it was very like stereotypical like really vegetarian we're going to have a green knife yeah everything everyone knows someone's a fillet. Genuinely, it's almost it's almost like when someone was a fillet fish. Everyone wants to look and see who's ordered it. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> like, like, fillet fish. Like who's ordering that? Like, but I, 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 have a look. I, mean, I never liked the way they cooked the fillet fish. Like it was like steamed. The bun, the was, bun steamed. was steamed. The bun was steamed. It was just half a. They only, they only give you half a slice of cheese and a bit yeah. of tartar. Yeah, it was half a slice. Yeah, that was basically a, a large. Oh, fish really? Finger. It's not it was even just a, a large fish finger, yeah. half it a is, slice yeah, of cheese yeah. and some tartar, tartar sauce. And look, I see the fillet fish is and lovely. And that steam is horrible. Oh, it's disgusting. For anyone that works in McDonald's, that or, or for people that don't, there was a there was like a steamer and it was so hot that even the handle yeah. was like ridiculous and to get the bun off you had to get the box put it over the bun yeah. like turn yeah, yeah. it over yeah. if anything was stuck in there and it got in your hand it's not worth the effort for yeah, that it fish really, is it that's, it that's why we used to that's why if it, it, it was once a day normally you'd get one ordered and you mm. wanted to see who was ordering it what was your favourite role at McDonald's <sighs> I don't I wouldn't say I enjoyed much of it I, the, the the overnight because a lot of time was overnight if I was in the kitchen I wouldn't mind it because I knew what I had to do if you have good staff I think you just get it done I didn't mind window one in a drive through window one top window was my favourite top window for people that don't know what it is that's Sometimes you have two people up there. I could pr I could pretty much do it on my own. That's where you yeah. order, right? I you could, take yeah. The, yeah, you yeah. take the order. You take the order and the money. Some people can't compute like the ability because some people can't do one of those things. Yeah. It's very, very, very frustrating. Yeah. But if, there are genuinely such good people that work at McDonald's. No people now that have gone on to engineers, doctors, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the amount of people that work there because people stereotypically think, oh, McDonald's who are students with, yeah, and now are doing ridiculous things. Yeah. Like my, my store was literally managers and just the entire college. <laughs> All my mates were just that working at the yeah. McDonald's. Me and Stan used to get put on top window one, window one because we could actually do it just by ourselves. Yeah. A lot of, it would be someone taking the order, someone doing the money. But and if you, if you get one yourself, person to do both, you save a man, you save a man. Yeah. And especially when it's like six o'clock, like dinner time on an evening, like if you're doing window one on your own, that's tough work, you know? Yeah. It's, you're, it's when it's going ping, ping, ping because through. Because not only are you talking to someone, you're taking someone out, you're talking to two people at the same time whilst also knowing when to mute, when to come off mute. And it's it's a talented, it's a talented thing, you know? Especially you've got as, someone taking 70 years to order. Mm. Yeah, they sat, they've sat yeah. there in the queue for five minutes. You, you say, can I have your order, please? And they'll be like, yeah, um, yeah one second. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just got someone there like with money. Someone's there like trying to poke a 20 pound note at me. I'm just thinking, yeah, just one second there, mate. Please. Yeah. We always had the same guys coming in at like 5 a.m. for like their coffee. And you can see them on the camera. Actually, you know, a lot of people don't know. You are seen on camera. You are seen yeah. on camera ordering your food. A lot of people Who? do not know. And you can hear, and you could hear everything. Yeah, but you, the, you, yeah no, I, 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 think, yeah, I, yeah. I definitely figured. So that. when you're picking your nose, thinking yeah. we can't see you, oh, we yeah, can see a, you. You can see there's a camera in there. But before, but some people don't know. And before you say hello, we can hear everything as yeah. well. Oh, whenever really? they turn yeah. up there. Yeah. So when you're like punching the box to try and get so your attention, we're making you wait. I know you're there. I'm just. What's, uh, <laughs> what's the craziest thing that you've seen when people think they're anonymous and not being watched? Oh, I don't know. Anything outrageous? A few domestics. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of arguments. Oh. Sometimes people, like, I knew people for their, like, morning coffee orders, and they just come in, they just look at the window and drive off, and they've known I've seen them, so I have to put it through. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. Like, just, that, but, that, is imp- that is impressive that you can just pre... That it's but like, we had the same people come through the same time every morning. If you've got a good memory Routine, as well, it's like yeah. the till's like riding a bike. If someone asks for a large beer up me, you don't even need to look. You can just go bang, 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 yeah, put yeah, it through, yeah, you know. Yeah. I've had yeah. some guy come through the drive through like four people in a car, music absolutely blaring, they've not stopped. He's got his head out the sunroof with, um, do you know them white pots you get in like arcades? Yeah. He's got that just through of coins. He's got like, give me 15 <laughs> double cheeseburgers. He's just got just gone like that. Handed me a, I'm like, mate, it's peak hours. What do you want me to do? Sit and count 10 piece. Yeah. I was like, please, mate. I was like, just can you pay your like cash? Mate, he's got like a roll of about that out of like notes. I just, is that could be easier? He literally ends out the sunroof. We once had someone order a Big Mac extra pickles, but it wasn't just extra pickles. They specifically asked for like 25 pickles. <laughs> 25. That's ridiculous. And you can't really put that through a till, so you have to add on like a, uh, a sweet chili dip, which is like 20p. Yeah. So you add on these 20p's, 20p's, 20p's. How, so, uh, wait, so... I actually asked Matt, how much am I charging for 25 pickles? He was like, I don't know, quid? Okay. Two quid? Yeah. I don't know. I was like, who's ordering a Big Mac? Let's go buy a jar of them. Yeah. yeah 25 yeah. pickles. I thought that was particularly... Strange. Do you have any strange requests? Any orders? Oh, you do get some people. That, we we had a few people that would come in and order exactly the same thing every day. Oh my God. Like extra two slices of cheese on the Big yeah. Mac with no onion, but le- extra lettuce. You did. You had people that kick off that, with dips. People always kick off about dips oh, as God. well. Dip gate, I think that was probably the best Dip way to gate. call it. Out. People get fuming. I don't get, if people were nice, I just give. I would honestly, I'll just give it to them. I'm not bothered. I'm not yeah. going to charge them five. Pi- like, yeah. if they want a ketchup, but have a ketchup, please. Sure. You have some that just go, give me a ketchup. I'm like, yeah, that's five p, please. What are you going to charge me? It's like, yes. If we don't ask nicely, <laughs> Wait, did you actually have to charge? It was five p for a while. No, it wasn't. Wow. Franchise, so we charge five p. I, I would be- basically, I'd never charge unless if they were a twat. Yeah. I'd go out of my way to I charge. I never them. knew that. See, I we were a franchise free. and we didn't. Charge. Yeah, we yeah. did. For a while, it was free, and then it was then it was five p. Oh but the man! Problem, you'd find it though, where they'd be a twat. You'd say, "Look, it's five p," and they'll go to the manager. Oh, they won't give me a dip. They'll, they'll go, "I'll just give it to them." Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers, yeah. cheers for bugging me off. Yeah, but is... at least let me at least back me up and let me yeah, stand yeah, my ground. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, I love the McDonald's chat. You could talk, uh, yeah, we could talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but we've got the badge in. Yeah, Congratulations. I, know, I know the stream said I had to. Oh, is so, that what they said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said I had to. They said I had to. Rip I've got it. the sliders. I don't know if they can see them under the table. I get mopped for the sliders, but <laughs> I'm the slider game. I'm a big slider fan. British summertime, isn't it? Well, yeah, I know. But uh, before we, um, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, how many grounds are you up to now? Then sixty-three, really? I believe, of the current ninety-two. Nice. Who, uh, what are the big ones you've got left? Or like, well, next the season, season, Derby, but yeah. they might not be there. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're having big problem. I did see this morning the guys trying to buy them again. I don't know if you've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it got turned down because they couldn't be pre funds. And I saw again this morning they're trying to they're trying again. Wait, so they got relegated. They got relegated. But they actually need still got the same. Because Mel Morris is yeah. uh, it's to do with the state. Of, I don't know the exact ins and outs. I, I mean, I joke I joke about it when I say, oh, I hope someone goes bust. But even with Exeter and clubs like that, I never want to see a club go bust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see a lot of like Leeds and Forest fans saying, oh, I'd like, like, but I think, you know, you don't want your rival. You don't want, you never want to see then a club you don't have go a rival bust. Yeah, yeah, you never to. want to see a club go bust. You want to see him in immortal pain and yeah, get yeah. relegated <laughs> and whatnot. But going bust is obviously a horrible thing to go through. And right now for a Derby fan, you're going to be in such a worrying situation because I, I saw they might be... if. I say even if they're still there, but they might be playing at Leicester, I saw potentially next Really? Season. Yeah. Well, the KP. That's what I saw. What, That's like a, like what a, a lonely stadium. Because yeah. I think, I, 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 as I said, I don't know the exact denounce, but I think the Mel Morris owns the stadium and I believe that's what a lot of the uh, complications are. See, so yeah, I'm pretty sure Derby is the only one. Who else went down from the championship? Barnes, yeah, Barnsley and Peterborough, Peterborough have already been there. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hate Peterborough. It's a nightmare. It is, yeah. The chairman, McAnthony, twenty six pounds for a fucking shit seat, which is wooden. You got it's horrible. You're on the side. Twenty six pounds. It's, 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 it's like a nineteen thirty seat. Yeah. It's horrific. They're You're on the side. Abysmal. Twenty six pounds. Is it the Peterborough? They know the posh. Posh. Yeah. Posh. Yeah. And everywhere there's expense. Oh, I don't know. What's your favourite ground you've been to? Grat or oh, I, t- I was it t- as in I tell you what modern ground slightly biased the new Spurs stadium is very you'd nice. Say that. I, I, you'd the, say I mean the Emirates that. though I've been to I love the Emirates was lovely. But the Spurs ground is it is, is actually better. really. I'm nice. trying to think in yeah. terms of like there's so many though amazing classic ground. Went to Ipswich recently Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, they were two, they were my two new grounds and they're both really good. They're proper old school. Are there any on the list remaining that you 
really want to go to to a point where to it's be like, fair, it I wouldn't, wouldn't even be an Argyle I would game, like maybe. to go I've been outside Villa Park enough times wouldn't mind to go watch game there United as well I've not been not been there um you not been to Old Trafford? No, not to watch, not to see, a, not to see a match. I've been, to, I've seen a game at the Emirates, not Argyle, but I have seen a game at the Emirates. I, I, I saw United. I'm sorry, not the Emirates. Plymouth. Etihad. Sorry, I've been to the Etihad. Okay. Um, United played Plymouth in the FA Cup or so in the last five years. No, they? just Liverpool. We played. Went to Anfield. Uh, that played, must have been quality. And Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea was really good as well. Yeah, Anfield was Anfield was great. What about? Um, have you ever been stadiums like abroad? No, I've got a horrible fear of flying, which doesn't help. Really. So Dennis Burkamp had the same. I know. Yeah. I, I, something I need to get over. It holds me back on a lot of stuff, like with opportunities, because especially in what we do, you yeah. know, there are some really cool things abroad that yeah. I've wanted to do, but... F1 as well. Yeah, I know. I feel like Formula One Live is really different to watch. I yeah, absolutely yeah. love Formula One. You're just watching... Well, and you're I just in a... don't think I'd enjoy watching it live. Yeah. I, mm. I really don't feel like it's the sort of thing that you could enjoy as much watching. Like, saw, that's really weird to say. I yeah. guess you, you, you sat in one place, right? And you watch cars go around <coughs> a bit over and over and over. But that's the, yeah, you, you, not the real content. Though, for the experience, yeah. I, I, I'm, I will do Silverstone, but I've, I've said to myself, when I do it, because uh, I've not been to a live race, I'm going to do the whole, I'm yeah. going to do it properly. Like I want You're going to go this year? Um, potentially. I, I just, I need to work out a way to do it so that it's, yeah, really done properly. I feel, I feel like if you go to a live F1, you sort of have to tell yourself, Look, I'm not here to, so to speak, see the race. You're here to like take in yeah, the atmosphere yeah, yeah. and the whole experience. Absolutely, absolutely. But I think, you know, for someone like you, you're, you know, a YouTuber, you're in a privileged position. Like you might be able to get, you know, like paddock access or something like that. It could be yeah. quite cool. Well, I do, like, I do have a couple friends, um, the Fit Apaldi brothers. They they stream on Twitch. So like they reached out to me. We did a we did like an event on Twitch and they said one day they might be able to get me in like the, the Haas garage. And nice. I just thought that is just, be un I just thought that it? is absolutely yeah. unreal. So you Gunter. never know one day. I mean, that would just, yeah. that, I mean, that, yeah, that's just yeah. mind blowing to think but it's about. Like, it's like the, the Miami Grand Prix. Like I feel like if you're going to go to a Grand Prix, something like that, where you know you're not necessarily going to see a lot of the racing, but like it seemed like a cool. Yeah, my, Miami's a good. Miami would be a good place to go do you see because I mean? the actual race content yeah. isn't necessarily great. Miami was just so like commercialized. Yeah, yeah, Miami exactly. was just as like a uh, fan. For a fan, it was yeah. to, for a fan, that whole weekend was not cringeworthy, yeah. but they were just they were trying so hard to force it kind of on new. On same new with Vegas. Vegas as I well, bet though, you. Though, I bet you, you'd have a belter of a time that's what I mean yeah if no, you, went, you probably would if you went to time. yeah the, the new American tracks if you went to them I think it would be an amazing experience but like watching it yeah 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 it's a bit, a bit rubbish a lot of people are getting into Formula 1 though yeah it's, usually I think Drive to Survive was the main it boosted it massively uh, it's gone mad in the last few the, the difference I see especially on like Twitter on a weekend when there's a race yeah. is mental people that I never even seen it about it before. It's great to see. I know some get really angry when people get into their sport. I, n I never gatekeep. understand. I never. No, I don't get. That. I don't understand. It's like happens. I was here first. But fuck it. Yeah, happens. I don't. I don't. Why would you not want more people watching the sport that you love? It happens a lot with boxing. With boxing. As well. boxing, no, boxing oh, a lot of people are fuming huge. about YouTubers. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of people just don't like YouTubers in general, do they? Because yeah, they feel true. like th they feel like oh, they're they're trying to invade our space. I think a lot of people forget that just real people yeah. we're exactly the same we're real people but and also especially with the boxing side like YouTube boxing has probably got so many more Absolutely. kids into boxing Huge. than actual mainstream boxing yeah. and what do you want do you want people not to watch the sport do you want people not to take well, part I think in there, the sport? There, there's definitely there's definitely like half of the group of original boxing purists that understand how many more eyes there are on the sport yeah, and yeah. like they appreciate how good it is for the sport but there's the other half that are just like totally old school and yeah. outdated to, uh, I, I just first they just don't watch it surely just yeah exactly not, yeah just choose not to just watch don't it. watch it you just tune out I easy. have people are a little bit annoyed with the because the cricket I was, love watching the Ashes I've, I've not really watched much cricket since I watched the Ashes but I really enjoyed watching the Ashes even though England got pummeled yeah I was proper invested Do you watch the 100 I, I haven't watched that. It's the sort of thing I think I would enjoy if I sat down and... The thing with the Ashes, though, because it was in Australia, it was on at night. So when I was streaming, yeah. it was so easy to interact. Yeah. It was just one random night. So I was mentioning it. I thought, oh, we'll, we'll kind of keep up with it. And I had it on. And then you kind of get invested with the, mm. with the Twitch chat. But it's the same as we... I played darts recently with uh, Jackmate, yes. which is unreal absolutely unreal and like the amount of people like angry tweets and stuff and I just think 
surely it can't annoy you that much. Yeah. It's on an hour, but it's not on, it's not put on you on TV. You're not forced to watch it. It's on an hour, an hour before your, you, what you want to watch is even on. Yeah. I like that. I'm a darts fan. I enjoy, I enjoy darts. I've liked watching darts for years and the people are getting so angry about it. And I just think if you're in my position as a PDC say, do you want to play darts? The O2? Yeah, I'm absolutely. not going to say no. I'm, yeah. I, you know, I'm not going to say no to that. That's the annoying thing. And people are getting angry at you are the ones that would a hundred percent take the opportunity every oh, day. It's jealousy. It is jealousy. It's crazy though. How, how angry people get about yeah, stuff yeah. like that. I, I mean, I get you. In my eyes, I think, okay, you know what? If it annoys you, maybe think it, but I think you're a grown man going out of your way to, send the message about it yeah. it, all, it always does seem to be older people well an older generation that get more vocal and angry about these sorts of things isn't it yeah it's, maybe I that's maybe that's brushing i don't know it's, a, it's a, it is an odd one like it, it, it i'm well, you got the same with uh ibrox the people that were moaning about you playing in that game no nah, they were footy avies twitter avies yeah but Football twitter yeah but they're still they're still people that hold an opinion that's if anyone got really the opportunity to play the current... unless you're a Celtic fan, you're saying yes. It's yeah, one of the most course. historic stadiums yeah, in the of world. Course. Yeah, like, and, and that is the difference. Like on social media, slated, trending in the UK. Like fucking hell. What really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because I was playing. I played in a World Eleven versus Rangers Eleven football match. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. No, but I saw that. But I'm saying, why are people angry? Because why the fuck was I there? Well, because you're invited to play. I, I, yeah, I, but <laughs> people couldn't wrap their heads around it. And they, they were, I, I, I understood where they were coming from, but like trending in the UK, I was like, that's a bit much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I, I've never had that At least before. you're trending though. <laughs> no, I mean, I, oh, you didn't want to click on that trending tab though. No. I did. Oh, you did? I did. I was a bad mistake clicking on that trending tab. But the difference was Twitter, horrendous. Instagram DMs were quite nice. Yeah. In real life, everyone was so lovely. And the, when I released that video, the comments were so supportive. Everyone was like, this is so sick. What's an opportunity? Yeah, I don't see yeah. people are annoying about someone just playing yeah. a game. But they, yeah. It's just a football match. Um, what was it? So obviously we'll touch on, we've got quite a lot of football stuff we want to talk about. Yeah, as well, but let's, let's throw it back. Um, I'm so intrigued about Big Brother. I'm so intrigued. Right. Please tell me everything about it. What do you want to know? How did you get on it? Um, it well, it's Mackie's again, but I'll keep that a bit short. Really? But it was, well, it was people, ju I never really watched it. I watched it back with like, Pete and Nikki. Yeah, they were the I never watched it. In the, in the, in the Davina, no. with the Davina days, yeah. I caught it when I was younger. I did watch some of it back when Jay Goody and that was on it long, long time ago. I watched a few um, series and then never watched it. And then people were like, oh, you'd be really good for it. I thought, okay, well, I don't watch it. But um, the applicant, I saw, that I had like a, must have been like a, ad or something for a notification for it and I thought I'll oh, bugger it like why not so we were just in the office at like 3 which I sent him a video so I was just having a but I was literally eating a burger I said to my mate I was like go on just film it now because they said what they wanted to see was what you do typically in a day and yeah, I said, yeah well, authentic this is, well, I was like this yeah. is literally it was it in the office it was just in the office <laughs> so, so they invited me for uh, they invited me for an interview in London it, and it was I did do it it was a uh, Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush, yeah. Yeah, I said before at the time I was on my ass, so I had to like manage to blag my way there. I ended up having to change at Reading, find a train that got into a different platform so there's no barrier. It was weird. <laughs> it was a weird time in my life. It was I was I was not in a good Head. Did they not pay for your train? Not for this, not for the original, oh, really? not for not for a, like, an audition because I had so many people. Yeah, I wanted. guess so, This yeah. is like the initial, this is basically the initial. It was in Shepherd's Bush. There's a lot of people there. They take you into like a, a group of people. They, they ask you like controversial questions. <laughs> there was one, there was one, we were in a circle and uh, she says to someone, she says to the guy, she goes like, right, you, she says, tell, evict someone to leave right now. And he's like, oh, like, I can't do it. She pointed at me and went, you do. I went, him. Oh, just... <laughs> she said, why? I, I give a reason. I was like, I just did my head in, to be honest with you. He didn't like it. And she went, don't worry, you won't be a victim. I thought, well, if you're going to ask you a question like that and you can't get rid of someone. Yeah. Yeah. And it was very, but the thing is, is people were being controversial and stuff. They'd asked them why. They couldn't give a reason. I, I just thought, so I, I wouldn't class myself as being highly intelligent, but I'm not, I, I feel like with problem solving and things like yeah, that, yeah. in my head, I'm thinking, you kind of know what they're looking for, but mm. you don't want to, if you try too hard. Well, you, so at that point when they've invited you, were you aiming to try and make it? Or oh yeah. Like, okay. I, I try, if I, if I'm going to do something, I yeah. try and be the best I can. Yeah. Mm. My intention at that point was to win the whole thing from there. I thought, really? right. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to get on the show. That was my intention. 
I got through that first stage. There's like three of us that went through and they, you should see their faces. We were like walking off with the uh, people and they were like, there were some of them, because some of them were trying so hard. Yeah. I wasn't like trying hard, but I did want to, as I say, I thought I've got to work out the best way to make go like around. Make a scene, make, make yeah, yourself known. Yeah, but I, but I didn't, I thought, you know, the opposite, of, but in my head, I thought actually the right thing to do is to not- Stay true. Not, to... not go, like not fake it and yeah, try exactly. and be over the top. Yeah. Was just to sit back and watch everyone else basically trip themselves up yeah. and then take advantage which which worked went through to like a it was like a fake diary room type scenario got through that and then we were in like a producer it was about 15 people in a producer room once it's very like sort of controversial questions again um and uh, yeah they, they called me it must have been a couple of weeks later saying oh you you're through to like the next stage so then went back up to london again I can't remember this was. It might be the same sort of place, but this was like the, like the end of all offices, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in like a top floor sort of office with uh, a couple of ladies, a couple of like ladies that were the producers, and we were just yapping. And this was an away day, actually. I can see. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it was Stephen and Jawa. It was a Tuesday night. All oh, right. Let's combine them both. Yeah. Oh my god. And they were really intrigued because we don't. I see a plus. Like, oh, plane. And they were like, "Why are you fascinated by that?" I was like, "We don't see them where I live." And they, yeah. they seem to find that quite funny. But I was said to them, "I was like, yeah, I can't stay too long. I got a train to catch soon to get to." They're like, "You serious?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not joking." It's like I'm off to the football in a minute. Yeah. So we did that. That was like a, that was a long chat. To be fair, it was a good. We had to talk to like a psychiatrist and a psychologist. Really. They were like, what are you afraid? They're like, they're like, you I was like, yes. They said, you do know what show you're applying for. So they, at, th at that point in your head, you like, well, if they're asking me these sort of questions, I I'm pretty much. I assume it was close. Yeah, I assume yeah. this was probably, they've got down to not a lot of contestants. Yeah. Mm. Because someone actually, I'd gone through at the first edition, his name was Angus, a nice lad. I'd gone through with him, at the, he made it through. And in the end, he couldn't do it. But we were keeping in touch because he'd also gone back to speak to the producer mm, as well. Right. And he couldn't He couldn't actually do it. He was a funny guy. He couldn't actually do it. So, yeah, I kind of thought, right, I must be close. And it must have been almost a week or two again later. They rung, they rung me. I remember I was in town. I was just in town. And they said, oh, we, uh, this is the thing. They never actually say to you, you're on the show. So yeah, they never yeah. tell you you're on. You're yeah. never officially mm. in. So you're always, because you know what they're like, they can yeah. screw you over with anything. Yeah, I think yeah, they've yeah. done it before. They'll put you in another house yeah. or they'll, they'll mess you around. But they said, oh, we need you to uh, come up and do everything. So I had to say to the work, look, obviously I don't know how long I'm going to need off. It might be a few days. It might be a couple of months. They said, oh, well, take whatever time you need. It's oh, that's no, good. No problem. I said, they always looked after me. They always yeah. looked after me at Mackey. So they take as much time as you need. So... Yeah, went up for the. Surely they were pretty like they must be quite excited. Yeah, for them, really super excited. Well, they, at that point. they were they were, they were really supportive with it. Yeah. And I just said, hey, look, it's, I, I kind of was like just something to do. Really, it was just yeah. more of an experience. But I wanted to win as like 150 grand or whatever. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. and I, as I say, I was on my ass, like absolutely on my ass. I thought, right, and and genuinely, I know a lot of people go there because they want to make other stuff out of it or do that. I just yeah. legitimately, I was just interested in winning some money. Really, yeah, yeah. All, uh, my plan was just to go in there, try and win some money. If I don't, I don't. Come back and get on my life. Where I'm, is it? It's in Elstree. Uh, it was Elstree Studios. So Boreham Wood was okay, where. Okay. But they put you up in like Watford in a, and this was horrible. This was before a lot. I mean, this is like lockdown, lockdown. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't leave the hotel, like the room. You had to have like a chaperone. And I'll go playing Wickham in the playoffs. And they promised me I could watch it. They lied to me. They told me, they told me I could watch it. Even on the TV? On that night, yeah, they wouldn't let me watch it. They what? promised me. Yeah, they promised me. Wait, wait, so are you, are you, how long are you locked in this place for? Um, like hotel? four days, basically. But do you have a phone? Do you have internet? No, no, no. no, no they take, it's, it's, so you have well, no knowledge of the outside world, right? Yeah, I managed to get hold it. of a newspaper, though. Okay. Uh, so what, paper, what which was, and they left the remote control in the drawer. They did do, with like, you did have TV. Only because they left the remote control in the drawer by mistake. I didn't They did with Love Island as well. Yeah, but then like, that window after a news. day, they changed my chaperone. So I only had I only had TV for probably like twelve hours, and most of that I was sleeping. And then they gave me the, the, the first chaperone. He was like really chill. So like if I wanted to leave the room for a little bit, they'd take me outside for some fresh air. The second one, she was very strict. She was like, <laughs> "No, you you are staying here." They only really let you out. They only really let you out for. 
we had to go out and do like the bit on the side stuff for yeah. like, and it was it was quite not demeaning, but I'm quite boring. So a lot of the questions they're asking, I'd not done anything of, and it yeah. was just like, no, I've not, no, no, no. So it was a bit. How did you keep yourself entertained in the room? What the fuck? Mate, did you, what did you do? Just go nuts, literally. Really? That's what I mean. You just go nuts. You, you just, get books or like, nothing, nothing. Nothing. It was horrible. You just sit there on a bed. It was awful. It was for four days. Yeah, yeah. It was four days. They or three days in one, and then they move you for the fourth day to one that's they blindfold you and that so you can't see anything what and they move you to another hotel doesn't that seem a bit but that was the excessive? night that was the night before so you're a bit more when when you move on the last day that's, yeah. you know, that's the night you, but you progress. still don't know you're in this is the thing they still like you could be in a fake house so jack mate went and did the pretend the mock run yeah jack mate did the mock run did he? So, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah he did the mock wait. run so you don't know you still, excuse me, there's no confirmation. So wait, so Jack got, he thought he was going on with brother. I, did, I yes. believe so, yeah. I and mean, yeah, they yeah. told him, like, as he was going in, literally as he was going in the door, he said someone was nailing in the set. So he thought, oh, something's not right here. Yeah. And they said to him, yeah, you're on a test run. So I still didn't know anything. I remember they brought, they, they said, oh, we've got some, like, we're going for, like, a Tesco run. I was like, oh, brilliant. She came back with, like, the worst meal deal I've ever seen. Aww. It was, like, spicy crisps and, like, horrific sandwich. It was a good 50p. You like, know, you're a meal deal kind of Yeah, but no, I get an option. What is your meal deal? Oh, chicken and bacon club. Nice. Salt and vinegar McCoy's. And I'd say a Ribena, but I don't mind like an innocent smoothie for value. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, they're, like, they're like 350 on their own. And but the, but yeah. Tesco, the Tesco near me, I've got, before people shout at me, I've got a club card, so I get my 50p off. I've got a club yeah. card. The Tesco near yeah. me have, have upped their game. There's a lot of stuff there now. Mate, They've got the good. Philadelphia sticks. Yeah. I'm a big advocate of them. Yeah. Banging. Like they do like eggs. chicken satay. I like the eggs. Get shouted up for that. The snack options are just, yeah, they, they've, they've got the roof. chicken satay. They, yeah, they've got little fillets as well. Fridge raiders, bit of chicken. Well, even the sandwiches. They've got wraps. Yeah, they've level. They have yeah. the Tesco near me have leveled up. But when they don't have the chicken club in, though, that's when it's a sad day. Uh, to yeah. go from Tesco to like similar cuisine, what is a traditional day in the life of a pie away day in terms of food? Oh, wait and see. Nowadays, because Monday to Friday I keep it clean. Yeah. When there's an away day on, that's horrific food. Day. Really? I just, I try and cram in as many calories as possible. <laughs> so we always stop. Day. We always stop. Well, we always stop early in the garage. And I say to myself every time, like, just a snack because we're going to go for breakfast in yeah. a couple hours. It's never a snack. <laughs> I like a good pop. I like these, these are, oh, people give me stick for this, but it's, it's proper corn. And now uh, there's not a brand oh, yeah, going yeah, up yeah. I'm not yeah. associated with, the, with them. Yeah. But that brand of popcorn is the bet it's very very nice yeah. like 80p it's banging you yeah. can't go wrong they also sell in this garage I'm just kidding, it's called a paradise flapjack and it is paradise it, I don't know what bakery <laughs> it is that does it but I tell you now it's fucking banging do you stop at the same services we always stop at the same garage in Taunton we always stop there for a quick snack so yeah. and as I say I get a couple of things it's right, you know Somerset, Somerset. Yeah. yeah, but early morning depends what time we get there. If it's super early, options are, are bleak. Is that pre is that presuming you're going north? Yeah, but we always go via wherever we go. So even if we go, oh really? Because you can turn off there to go to London. Okay. On the a, like, sometimes. Oh, actually, saying that though, if we go on the A three hundred three, I guess we won't stop there because we can turn off at Exeter. Sometimes there's a request. If there's a request for a stop, yeah. But basically, we badger him until he gives in. Is pretty yeah, much yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. How many people do go on there? 15. Whatever, and what's the thing called? The banana bus, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The banana bus? Banana bus. Yeah, it used to be yellow. It's not oh, that, oh, that's the, oh, that's yeah, the reason. Yeah. Wait, what is the... I don't know about the banana bus. He does He does all go away dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's the minibus is called the banana the, bus. The oh, minibus that they travel on yeah. is called the banana bus. That's so elite. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. That is so elite. I'm just the butt of the jokes, really. How do you get membership to the banana bus? Do you have to have ser served a certain amount of time? Nah, it's weird. Place? It's weird. Because my first game, we lost 4-0 away to Port Vale. That was like nine <laughs> years ago. I missed five, only five games since. It's not bad. Five games? You just get addicted. And we've got like my friend Jack, he, he's he he's gone to like one game and now he's done three in a row. Because you tend to find we've got a really strong pool of regulars and then sometimes a few extra people. We've got a few like sort of scattered around the outside of the circle yeah, so yeah, say, yeah. Like, pop in and people just get a bug for it really and then but how do you how do you organize getting on because surely spaces are limited he has got a really. list i'm like i'm lucky i know i'm a, i know i'm like a lock because yeah, I, yeah, I got yeah. my loyalty cards yeah. do you have a do you have a seat on the bus that's yours 
Right, okay. This is where. <laughs> see, this is where. No, this is what annoys me because, as I say, I'm always the butt, right? I'm always the. Uh, so I get on pretty much second last. My mate Jess, we pick her up the stop after, but she got a set seat. So I'm always screwed. They always. And they'll always. They'll always. We, okay, so it's called Bogey Alley, is what we've got. There's a three behind the driver. They call it Bogey Alley. I knew in the middle. No, but you do not want to sit there. Yeah, yeah. But they'll wind me up all week. They're like, oh, you're a bogey. You're a bogey. I'm like, stop, stop. They'll even give me a fake list of people that are on. Yeah. Because I know it, I know if certain people are on, I, I'll get a better seat. Okay. I worry about it all week. <laughs> I know they'll, they'll lie the to you. So, like, no, they'll, so, so the position, in my mind. So yes, the position of the seat, seat of the bus. Yeah. Determines your happiness. Yes, it genuinely, the- definitely. Yeah. <laughs> do, you have, is it, do you have? You know, Listen, I've got a favorite seat. Like, so with with the minibus is is there's a the back row is a single and then there's yeah two. yeah yeah. And then the yeah. row in front there's a double and a single. Yeah. I like that single. Yeah. yeah. And then next by the if I have to by the door if I get screwed I don't mind to be fair I don't mind sitting up front if if I I, I have actually I have once paid extra to, to swap with someone as well I've done that really shared yeah they know I'm weak with it I hate yeah. it is it financial. Standings. I can. The, I, I, they will. Yeah, I've, you, I've put off my bike five queens, pints to let me sit wow, in a different seat. Queen's tender out to try and get some. Because and also though, I can. We have like a quiz that kicks off. That's a new thing we've started. Do a quiz on the bus. After, oh, so we do, we do an after breakfast quiz, which I ho- I, I host. We nice. like, like, like take control. There's always controversy because sometimes. The back row. You need, like our one. Well, I love I love a quiz. Yeah. The back the back row need a little bit of extra help sometimes. So I have been known to shuffle questions. I don't know anymore because I don't want any drama. Because like they'll argue that they've got an easier question that will kick off. I have been known to offer extra help to the back row. Then everyone else gets angry. But I give a pint. Everyone in the winning team gets a pint. So that's not nice. bad. That's not bad. Do that's you have, really is, there, is there a single seat by the door where you get the extra leg room? Yes, but on this new bus, it, I right another. Got, the extra I've got, okay, I've got weird things, yeah. right? I've, I'm weird. I'm not especially for tell. especially for you, you're six you five, tell. six four. But six not four. You can't tell <clears throat> that I'm weird, but I'm weird. I like to I like to lean to the right. I know that's no, no. That, that I get so that. Like, but the doors, the window seat is a left. The seat I like is a right. Yeah. Even on the train coming up, I waited because there was a there was a there was a right hand side seat and a left hand side. I went on the left hand side to get a seat on my own. And I thought I'll oh, I'll gamble and see if anyone got on. No one got on, so I thought right, I'm going to take the table just because I like to lean to the yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, I get, I understand. But that. that middle, yeah, the middle middle bogey alley as they call it is a horrible seat. I've done that to Sunderland and back, and it was really yeah. It was oh not my, enjoyable. how many miles is that? It's, it's, about a seven hundred mile round 700 trip. Seven hundred mile, Jesus! You what? do not want to sit there. That what time do you horrible. sit out on a, a way day for Sunderland? For Sunderland, he likes to do a midnight drive, like one o'clock. Jesus. I had to negotiate so I could stream a bit longer. I had to beg him to leave a bit later. Later, that really? was considered to be late. Yeah, everyone else is fuming as well. One a.m. Yeah, that was funny because it was an, only because it's almost like a one-off. We normally live like between four and six. If it's a London game, like six o'clock. Yeah. Oh my god. Is, is there a traditional like routine of how the day goes then? Yeah. So pre- like talk us through an, an Argyle away day basically. So we get I normally stream like before I don't I don't know how I managed it. Before when I was basically like mocking stream, I didn't mock it, but trying to not really taking it as seriously yeah, yeah. as it is nowadays. I could finish a lot earlier and get some sleep. Nowadays I don't. I I will stream until probably three. Doing all night for the normally stream till about three, four Jesus. o'clock. Three o'clock maybe and then go straight in. So I'll go I'll get my mate sometimes give me a lift or I just get a taxi. We always we always normally stop at that Taunton garage. Then so there's we'll, a there's a specific the same, location. Yeah, always the you, same one. Okay. Because wherever we go in the country, we always stop in the same place for breakfast. Right. So if we go to London, we normally stop in Fleet it's on the M3. Yeah. Okay. If we go to um trying to think if we go west so if we go northwest we always normally stop in Walsall there's a Morrison's yeah, there yeah. so we normally have breakfast there and then if we go northeast it's normally Tamworth so we've always got the like set ah, not far from mine Tamworth's alright they've got yeah. mega good Sainsbury's and Mackey's you've got yeah. extra selection it yeah. depends what you're feeling so it's, it's always useful coming home we always stop in a place called uh, well it's Taunton it, they've got they've got that garage but there's a pub called the Black Horse so, but we've got there literally is a pub and a chicken shop opposite each other Right. so, so, so if it's that, a heavier yeah. way day most of them will go to the pub yeah and then you know we'll get some chicken or both if they're feeling frisky get some food and then does, hey, the, does the result determine where people end up going after that? I mean it's normally the, the same base that goes to the pub to be honest with you. <laughs> okay it okay. depends if they've wrote me in to drink or not like what right. stage I'm going for normally yeah. by that point I'm so tired I just want to go to bed so I'll just yeah, take yeah. I'll just take my chicken the thing is it's quite I, I mean I'm not sure whether it is chicken but it is good I mean <laughs> like at the end of the day when you need some food You'll take it. But getting there, we just, we normally get there at most games at like 11, 11, 12. This is a thing, I'll, I'll point, because 
People are fuming. This really annoys me. I have it on a away day where I, 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 a lot of time I'll just sit down and chill. So I'm t- a lot of time I'm tired, I'll sit down and chill. We went to we went to Burton. Now, I always, when we, because to help the driver out, this we always have, I'll, I'll get onto this, but we always have navigation problems because he refuses to get a sat nav. Oh, I'm me. one of them. It's always me. I'm always the one. Why that's, don't no, no, we row. We row. Uh, no, I, we Yellow row. Pages roadmap. No, it's, the, 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 they're in hysterics because we row. Me and my driver, Kersey, we row, we row a lot. You can just, you yeah, can I know, tell how I know. I know. I've got. I have to. Yeah, I know. I, I, we even bought him a stand for it. He won't, uh, we row a lot, so it's a tradition. Yeah, right? it, is, I it is. But I no. uh, once we've no, once but we've got, wait, if they go to the same service, no, I but know every day. It's always right. on me. I'll find because I'll find them a pub. I'll find them a pub, and he won't. The problem is he won't listen. I'll, I'll say it's right, it's right, and then I'll go it's right. He go, I know. I say, well, if you don't answer me, how do you? Yeah, yeah. And it will boil over. It will go. We ended up like going down a one way street. I think in Oxford or something. <laughs> <laughs> and there was one game, um, Gillingham, where I did drink. We went to a pub, and I just I was hammered. And he was like, pub. He's like, I need directions. So I just googled Priestfields, and it was not the right. We turned up at the wrong Priestfields. Like five miles from the ground really he was like my face where's the grind I was like apparently it's here I was like no sorry we're at the wrong priest fields oh, and there was a meltdown yeah there so was so is there always like a there's always a stop before you get to the ground so you always you stop off at a pub or well, well, I'll f- well we normally just find the thing is we go to so many places that most of the time we know we know where's good right but normally we get there a bit early so we have to go to a spoons for a a quick one and then we'll go to we've re you, you get the knowledge of where's got great pubs and where's good to go so but we go I'll, what I'll do is I'll go back to the ground with the driver because yeah. we just I'll help him park up just because yeah yeah because yeah. most of the time I genuinely don't drink on an away day there's sometimes I will but if I if I ain't drinking like I'm, I'm tired I'm in no rush I'm happy to go back but it was Burton people went mental so at Burton I stopped in to just grab the programs rest the bus they had they had these horrendous T-shirts printed with "We are staying up" and I, it was so badly made. So I, I thought I, it. so I took a picture and yeah. tweeted it. People going ballistic. Oh, I can't believe you're in you you're in the imagine going to the way down being in the club shop at blah blah blah. I'm like fucking out. And if they'll go, oh you you go to way down and fucking sit down. What a twat. I'm thinking actually, I was like, do you know what? If you go to way, do what the fuck you want. Yeah. You've, you've taken the yeah, time. You've, earned you've the taken right the time to, to travel. Yeah. If you yeah. want to sit down and sit on your phone for the game, sit yeah. on, like sit yeah. on your phone. For the game, do what you want. Just another reason yeah. to hate on. But stuff, all the people tweeting it? you are probably the ones sitting at home on the TV. Yeah, yeah, that's the funny much, part. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much. But I just think to myself, if you want to go on a way, do whatever you want. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There's no specific. You have to do this or you have to do that. You've travelled. Do you drive? No. Uh, is there any consideration to? Yeah, I keep. It's one of. The, I'm. I'm a real. Uh, I'm a very put off person so right. I always say to myself I've got a list and I just don't do anything <laughs> like I moved into my house a couple of years ago and the bed that was already there they said oh do you want to take it down or do you want to just buy it I said oh I'll just buy it they say he's been building another one a month later I was like right I'm buying a new bed it's been about 20 months I've still not bought a new bed <laughs> I said to myself uh, onto the stream of day I was like I'm buying a new bed it's getting done they were like have you done it no I haven't done it no. the only reason why I ask is because you could potentially move up ranked one to day. driver I said I would do I know I can imagine that's a has a hefty hefty task though leaving but it's at pa- one it's power though isn't it I mean you you control and, the bus and if you control the bus you control the sat nav yes that that's is, what that's which another you can actually save it. time yeah. in the journey yeah there's like music meltdowns as well nowadays who is in charge oh, of yeah. who's in charge of the music well this is why if I'm up front you can get control of the lead but nowadays because it's all smart we've got an aux and that now we've upgraded Whoa, now, not bluetooth as no aux. it is I think that's what it is so oh, they can my but, but, but the problem is is they it has to be plugged the phone has to be plugged in okay. and we call them the wrinklies the older blokes they sit at the front god bless them <laughs> the wrinklies uh, and, uh, but when they're hammered trying to get them to plug the phone yeah, in, it's yeah. just oh it's a nightmare and when you get a different crowd on you'll get different music sometimes they I'll, I'll put this as when they say it's rock day I'm not talking about rock music I'm talking about 70s prog rock and it is oh, horrible no. it's not good yeah we just lost 3 nil away coming out <laughs> coming out to listen to a 20 minute version of Enter the Sandman and I'm just thinking please just it's like and I'm at that point I'm on no sleep I'm like just get me home yeah who's in charge of the quiz on the bus that is all me that is you yeah. so you oh, write the questions nice. yeah I, I normally yeah I, we had a book a talk. it was a talk sport book my dad bought it for Christmas oh, a quiz I'd, book I'd recommend oh, once again not a ad or anything but it was a talk sport quiz but my dad bought it for Christmas. Really good. I do love a quiz. It's got some like Who Am I stuff in there. Like That's I like, I, yeah, I like the ones like that. It was, it was very good. We should get it for the show. Yeah, we should. Actually. You'd like it. Yeah, yeah. but you'd, if we ever got you back on, oh right, yeah, you'd know, know, know what the answer is. Yeah, I would do. Yeah. Um, 
So obviously, you we touched on Big Brother. Yes. It's not the only show you've done. No. Ne have you got a list? Or is it well, just only two. Deal, no deal, 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 yeah. Deal, yeah. Deal, no deal. What was that like? Have you? you? Yeah. I didn't know Big No. I didn't know that. No, no, Edmunds? no Edmonds. Yeah. yeah. What was that like? Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, that was. That, was that, that must have been through Endemol as well. Then like Channel Four. They've. Yeah, that was the. F yeah, I don't know whether that had anything to do with Big Brother. Actually, thinking about it, it might have done. Because well, I mean, that the sure, may, yeah, potentially the producers have been like, "This guy's yeah. really good. Let's get him." Yeah, maybe. That might, do you know what? That's the first time. I've, it might not be relevant, but I've, but it, it just, is the first time that's ever crossed my mind. Yeah. To be fair, even thinking about it, actually. <laughs> so yeah, what was that like? Nah, really sick. That was really, really good. Did you win money? Yeah, seven grand. Yeah. But I was nice. like, as I said, I was brass. I had not a penny to my neck. Like I was in the shit at this. So when I when I applied, when they got me up for like the interview and that, yeah, I m managed to like they phoned me to say, oh, and they, they don't mess around. They were like, we, yeah, we want you on the show. And I thought, I was like, here we fucking go. I thought, yes. Come away, one Give me that 250. Well, I thought we can get, like in my head, I'm like, right, what do we want? I'm just like 20 grand, lovely. I was like, pay everything off. Yeah. Be comfy for a while. Yeah. Brilliant. I probably would have just spunk most of that away, gambled most of it away anyway, but <laughs> I, I was so badly in the mud. I thought, right. And no, it was unreal. They put you up in a hell of a nice hotel. This uh, one in Bristol. Really? No like, four-day lock-in. No, no lock-in. No, no lock-in. The <laughs> days are long because they film quite a few shows a day. But yeah. oh, it's banging, mate. Very nice hotel. The food was great, and I was proper fussy. And I, they, they cook set set stuff for me. I remember that that breakfast bar will always be rent free in my head. I mean. <laughs> They had everything. And it's free. I mean, I'll tell you what, what I, a breakfast bar goes a long way. A good breakfast yeah, bar goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, a good. No, I agree. Yeah. I do agree. Um, so that was obviously a day shoot. I, I didn't realize you were actually sent 66 days in Big Brother. Is that how long it was in the uh, end? Yeah, it was two months. It was a long time. That's insane. Yeah. Did you not. Surely you went insane. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, well. Pretty I, quickly. Yeah, pretty mental. It was going all right until. <laughs> I didn't realise, I didn't, obviously you don't know in there that things are going badly, like I thought I was doing alright and then, there, I said this before, there was one night where the, like everyone was, it was the first time I was uh, uh, up for nomination, like everyone was up for nominations and I wouldn't bullshit, I thought, well I'll be like, because you can gauge who, but the, the I weaker, cont I'd say the weaker houseman, the more yeah. basic, the, the ones that do fuck all and are very boring, I'm thinking surely, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking I've tried to like be a little bit interesting or I've tried to do tasks. I've tried to yeah. get involved. I'm yeah. thinking, right. And then when some of them, they were like, you're safe. I was thinking, shit. But that's that's, the, that's, that's what I mean. Like the, the problem is it's up to the editorial Yeah, they started, booing, they started booing me. I thought, oh no. That's what I mean. And I come out and say, you, oh, they in, in the... In 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 the arena, yeah. you think, all oh, right, well, you have a certain understanding of who's where in the hierarchy. Mm. Yeah, exactly, hundred percent. That's what I thought. To the start, public, it's not the same. Then you start playing in your head, like, oh my god. Look. Yeah, it was down to me and one guy. And I was thinking about the KFC I was going to go and get. I was <laughs> like, right, well, it's been fun. And he got set. He got evicted. And I just thought, right, okay, now I might have. I was thinking, what the? F yeah. It's like we need a new game plan. Yeah, it's obviously exactly. you're playing a game. You know, people are like, oh, it's not. You know, it's, yeah, there's no game plan. Of course, there's a game plan. Yeah. On time, you're trying to. Yeah. Uh, it's tactical. You have to be sensible about it. It's all about. I mean, I see, what I changed after yeah. that point. Well, you? I don't. Well, I didn't know why they were, apparently when I came out, I found out it was because th th like I was grumpy, but I thought, well, you take away food and sleep from me. What do you want? Yeah, like, right. The two things I like the most. Well, how yeah, much yeah. are you sleeping in there? Well, I had to change my whole pattern for it, but you do get a good, you probably sleep like, I reckon you probably go to bed 11, 12, normally most nights. And then you're up at like eight or nine. But when in the morning there is no like lay down time. Yeah. So once they, Set, yeah. They tell you to get up. You have to, literally have to get up. They really? punish you. Yeah, they'll turn the hot water off and things like that. Serious? So if you're not getting up, you got no. You got a cold shower. Yeah, you're in trouble. They, that's that's how they do punishments for like when when things go wrong. Wow. But that's they knew what they were doing. They'd yeah, out yeah, people of were course. talking about nominations. They'd call you around and go. These two people were talking about nominations, and then they play the conversation through. Really? So yeah. So they they turn the hot they turn the hot water off. So everyone would be fuming at them. Mm. Ah. Yeah, they know what they were doing. They play the mind games. Oh, yeah. shit. Fuckers. So you're basically like guinea pigs, really. Yeah, oh, of course oh, you yeah, are. Yeah. But no, no, but, but, I mean, yeah. to, but, I mean, but I mean to yeah. a degree where they're like hitting you with a taser. Borderline squid game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, yeah, yeah. They, just dangle, they just dangle some like... What was your favourite part of the show? Um, Do you make any real friends? Like you Probably winning the money, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, in there, to be fair, I still speak to Chloe... 
Danny, Joel, they were three people. I still, I still yap to them. Like, I still consider them to be like good friends. Right. I don't, I don't speak to them all that often. Yeah, but yeah. we're friends on like Facebook. I like to see that, and they're doing well for themselves. It's always good to see when people on there, uh, when people on there are doing well. Yeah, it's weird though because you do think because obviously there's no one else there. You do think in there you will. But it's different when you don't live yeah. with like anywhere near these people. There's nothing much really can do. But I still consider them to be. I still consider to be friends. That's the thing. I, I was playing a game, but I, there were people in there that I wouldn't do anything. I, I actually don't think morally I could have like screwed over yeah, because yeah. actually I thought right there is that. Yeah, and we did. Uh, to be fair to them, I think we kept like there were quite a few clicks throughout it, yeah. which made it. Yeah, it was. They produced. The, the, only, the only problem is the clicks that you Mark develop well, I tell you what, I necessarily don't get shown. I missed out on Mark as well. I don't know. A lot of people. I, Mark, Mark, I speak to a, a, a regularly now. He, he's a good guy. He just went in to play that villain role. Right. Pretty much. And looking back at it, I wish I kind of. Well, I don't want to say I changed anything actually, because you know what? I turned my life around and it, I walked out of yeah. money. So. Yeah. But he was quite funny. And I think I just. Because you just saw him as a nightmare and a. When, when you want to go to fucking sleep and he's there like messing around yeah. with duvet and just think oh please just you yeah know, yeah so off, from that point obviously winning the 20 odd grand or whatever coming fourth yeah uh, yeah fourth it was yeah. in the end yeah what, what at what point did you start like YouTube and getting into this so I used to watch a lot of it I used to watch a lot of Twitch and YouTube FIFA stuff yeah um, mainly mainly before before just watching but then I got into Twitch but there was no really UK streamers that streamed at night there's a guy it's called back in the day Gibby Gibson used to stream on Twitch and then is he that because uh, usually there's one person that everyone can attribute their journey of starting well, he was, point to he was, yeah, he, was, he was like a UK streamer that used to stream at night he was like chill and then uh, there's an American guy uh, called Sean Elite he was American and he streamed that time of night there weren't really many English stream, um, speaking streamers so I thought, well, you know what? Like, I'll just, and, and it was purely for fun. My intention yeah. was to go straight back to work. I, when I come out, I paid my debts off. I sort of, you know, I tried to sort my family out. I sorted out what I needed to get done. Brilliant. Put money aside. To be fair, I even gave a wedge to my dad just to him to look after for me, which, yeah. which he suggested. But it was a good idea. I mean, it did help. Yeah. But a lot of it did get blown. I wouldn't bullshit you. A lot of it did get blown. But the money that needed to be spent on... I bought my setup and yeah, everything yeah. and that, that was after because I enjoyed it. I did it for a, a week just doing it. I had probably started with like 20, 30 views, which is a lot. That I'll is never, that's never, really good. For I'd always try and original. say to people to start with, to have that is, I wouldn't, I would definitely never be in the position now without my brother. hundred percent. I know that. And people, I, I absolutely 100% know that. But I think to then continue to build knowledge, you do have to have some level of being at least entertaining to yeah. keep people- yeah. and drive. To keep people interested. So I did it for a bit. This was at the end of FIFA 15, I believe. So yeah. I remember I packed, like, the special rooney, like a blue rooney at the end of FIFA 15. So on FIFA 16, I thought, right, I'll, I'll get a setup and I'll just do it on the side. Because I asked work to go back part-time and they said, mm -hmm. no. And I thought, right, okay, well, I'm going to quit. Commit then. to it, yeah. The silver <laughs> I thought, right, I thought, I thought, you know what? I thought I'm not going to do it necessarily just to just to make money, but I thought I could probably do it enough to sustain to pay bills and stuff. And I've got money. I had money aside, so I yeah. knew I could at least for a few months. I knew I'd be okay. Probably even longer than that, I knew I'd be fine. And I thought, let's just take a gamble on it and see what it does. So they wrote me back the next day and said, oh yeah, you can come back part-time. And I just said, no, nah, you know what? Yeah. You've made the decision for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had all intention of going back. Um, yeah, so did it kind of like, I would say for, I mean, I've got to look at now, I've done it for like seven years, probably the first four years. I didn't take it very seriously and more in the sense of I wasn't treating it as much the job. It was very yeah. much, you know, on an evening if people- Work were, oh, when you want to. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I still streamed quite a lot, but it would be, oh, do you want to go out this evening? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And, It's and, not a priority. No, right? no, exactly. Yeah. And I was still I was still gambling like mad, which didn't help. Like that doesn't yeah. help things. When when you're, you're genuinely streaming on a night to think, right, okay, can I earn enough money this evening to go and have a punt after? Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, I love that life. Like it was terrible, but there, you know, it was also it was it was it was exciting, yeah. and there were some good times. And I wouldn't ever go, change anything of it because else it wouldn't get to this point. Yeah. So there were some yeah. horrific times. It's part there of your was some, some horrific times, yeah. but there were some great, there were some bloody great times too. And I tell you what, from Twitch, I've met some fucking good people. Yeah, that, yeah. Like my, I, I, I have someone that works for me now. He does some admin stuff for me, and he helps me out with like day to day and coming up with ideas and things like yeah. that. And we become, we're like nearly best. We're basically. Like 
like best mates sort of thing. Yeah. We, we become friends through Twitch. Like shout out to Lucas and the stream know him and we've been friends Lord know how many years now. Yeah. And I, Is he the to, one that you went and visited quite recently? Well, that, that, photo. So that was my friend Harry. Okay. I went to his wedding. He's one of my Twitch moderators. So we become nice. friends through Twitch. Oh, wow. Um, we, yeah, we become friends through Twitch. And then my two other friends were there who'd gone, who'd become friends with him through Twitch yeah. and went to his wedding. Like my friends, McAngel and Adam were there. We, we then become... Mate, that's crazy. It is mental. It's absolutely insane. We've known each other. We've been to away days and stuff together. I've been to Chelsea. Get it's, it's mental and to yeah. think, uh, but that's just a, a tiny sample. There's yeah. so many people because people and people do come and go. It does happen. You get people that come for a while and then they life go on. Happened, and they, yeah. They, 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 yeah, they've got lives. They do other parts of their life. Like my friend, my friend Rich. He he's been with me the whole time throughout the the period. He lives in Scotland. And he's friends through Argyle, and we've been to away games. Wow. And you know, he's come down the stairs and things like that and we, we you know we, we're so close mates it's yeah. that sort of you know what I mean it's that sort of community and I don't I, I feel bad if I miss people out but there's so, as I said there's so many yeah. there's so many um, I've had people come over from my friends Phil and Johnny I just you know I just got to shout them out they come from Northern Ireland over and yeah it's nuts and all because all of the website but it, 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 did you go to I can't remember where you went the capture event in Berlin did you go to that for FIFA Amsterdam not Berlin no, see, yeah, the Berlin was the year before. Yeah, yeah. Because that was the that was that was the year where it all got. That's the year where it all like turned around. Yeah. Because to that point, I was still streaming a lot, but I wasn't like wasn't earning a lot really. I was I was earning enough to like yeah. somehow I was survive. I don't know how. I mean, I was beg borrowing seeing of everyone, and it's not good. I, I've talked about obviously the gambling stuff. Yeah, yeah. a lot of other. We don't have to touch up. No, I don't even mind. Just for people that context, if yeah. if they haven't seen it before, it's just I've said it a lot on other things, so I didn't want to, you know, bore people with it. People know about it. I I had gambling, major major gambling issues, and it's not good when you go into an away day and the one thing you're excited for most is going to the bookies. Yeah. It's not you know having to. Every every game, it got to a point where uh, like my friends would not even give me the money to lend me for the ticket. They'd have to buy me the ticket because yeah. they know it would get. Sp and that's not a good way to live your life. As I say, it, it is exciting. It, there is a level of excitement to it, but it's a horrific way to be. Yeah. So we went to. I got invited to the capture event, and uh, this was the first time I flew. And I thought, right, I've got to. I just thought I've got to. Oh, do you it. did. I did fly. I thought I've got nice. to do it. And luckily, I was sat next to AJ three. Yeah. I said it to Andy and he helped me write through it because I was, I mean, I was shitting it. Yeah. Spoke to Lasty, Kyle and fuck was Jamie in the airport. We were yapping and I, I was just, I was shaking. AJ is a good guy to sit next to oh, on flight. He's he, very calm. He calming yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, we were taxiing. I was like, are we going? Are we going? He's like, no, not I yet, not yet. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going, we're going. Not yet, not yet. Andy, we can't let it. Are we going, are we going? Not yet. To be fair, I quite didn't mind the takeoff. And then like the wings going, I'm like, Andy. He's like, it's fine, it's fine. Like I'm just there like the whole time, like, like holding on to the seat. Yeah, slightly scouser. But he helped, me, he helped me, he helped me through that. Honestly, he got me through that flight. Like he was just chatting to me the whole time. But that was the first time we'd met. I was, cause what year was that? 2017? 18, 18. Oh, 18. It was for FIFA 19, I believe. Yes, 18. But I, 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 I hadn't met Andy in person because I, I was still at, at this point like I hadn't met that many people in person. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh my god, it's AJ3 you know, AJ type mm. thing. And yeah, I went to that capture event. That was unreal. And it was so good for networking. Yeah. To yeah. like speak to people. Cause um Buck Army was there. Buck Army is a really good friend of mine. And we had a it was it was this I won't forget the conversation we had. Cause he used to stream after me. He's American. He'd yeah. stream sort of just we'd kind of cross over times. We get about the same sort of viewership and stuff, and he'd tell me what he told me what he was earning a month, and it's probably close to ten times what I was earning a month. And I went, I was like, "Fuck me, okay." I was like, "Right, Jack, this is an eye, like this is the yeah, yeah. eye opener kind of. You need to." Yeah. You don't you don't really realize until you speak to actual colleagues. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, right, you got to sort it out. Like yeah. this is. If you're going to take it seriously, you need to knuckle down yeah. and networking with people. That because Andy then got me on squad with a showdown, yeah. and that helped kickstart, which I'll forever be grateful for because that helped kickstart the YouTube. So I always say to people with YouTube, because people, uh, people they go, oh my videos get the views. I uploaded. I say to people, I uploaded for probably two years yeah, straight yeah. of videos that would get 100, 200 views. A video hit 500 views, I was really happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it just took one opportunity that helped. 
that helped. I think what did help is I pack, I think I packed a really good player after we did that squad but a showdown and that continue that continual video yeah. was yeah. really helpful to to boost it. And well, then, every every overnight success is about five ten years in the making, right? Yeah. Basically, yeah, it, it is a grind. And people 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 do forget that. Yeah, that they'll go mad and oh, you just you know you You're just so lucky. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, and, and don't get me wrong, I am very very course, very fucking course, lucky to be able to do what I do for a living. Like extremely lucky, but. Once again, I have been there. I've done it for eight years. I've yeah. been in the shit. I've done silly hours in other other jobs. I've been there. I've done it. And I say to people, why don't you? They're like, oh, you you do all you do is this. Blah, blah, blah. I like I tweet out like, oh, aren't Monday shit? So it was like, imagine opening packs for a living. I'm only about Monday. It's like, sorry, I can't. Yeah. It's like I'm just human. Like you. it's like person. I'm just human. Like you, mate. And yeah. people don't see that. Like people don't see the hours that that go in. Like. I try and explain to people last month, I think I did like 160 hours of live, just live hours, yeah. plus everything else. Probably probably doing two over 200 hours a month of content. genuine straight up doing content, yeah. which is a lot of, which is a lot of hours. 50 a week. Which is, it's a, yeah. you know, it's a lot of hours and you haven't got someone breathing down your neck. Of course, I totally get that. I said, I understand how lucky we are. You got your self are. pressure though. Of course. And, yeah. it, and, and, it, and I'm the worst for that because, like, right now it's difficult because the YouTube channel isn't doing as well as it was like a few months ago. And it's you viewership think, of the game, though, yeah. I, but the, but you think is it a me problem? Yeah, of course. Like, not, yeah. It's the FIFA cycle. Isn't yeah, it? you think because I I try to upload content that I know people like. My 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 channel's pretty simple in the fact that it's whatever they bring out the day before yeah. is the content that I bring Comes out. out but, but the problem is, I think during team of the season, which may not be attributed to myself, is that really it's been so cut copy paste that people kind of know what's coming yeah, and that yeah. doesn't, you know, that doesn't pick up as much. It, it seems like getting embedded in the algorithm is really important because there, there are creators that have done so well with that. Yeah. And they put out, and then once they get into that, they, they put out really like, they, they put out cool videos and it's the different people seem to like the squad building stuff I mean shout out to my friend Chufters he streams on Twitch I saw last night he got well. the first time in, he got the first time into trending yeah. I was looking his videos are banging Damn, like really doing videos well. are banging it's the same there's a lot of people like that, that are, and obviously Danny is just you know yeah. they're absolutely I mean but so good Danny's such a nice Danny's such a nice yeah. guy such a nice guy. I said today, it must have been a while ago when when uh, he was streaming on Twitch. Like well, he's got a tweet. He has actually got a tweet saved. I sent it. He got it printed on a t-shirt. I sent it to him. And I was pissed, but he tweeted something and someone like someone had a go at him and he quote to it. And I said, I was like, Danny, I was like, do what you fucking want, mate. I said, you're a funny man. Like yeah. you're, you know, you're just a naturally nice, funny guy. Like yeah. with obviously his family and that being involved is is brilliant. Yeah. I'm sorry to tangent, but no, 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 no. This is like, podcast yeah, form, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm sorry to tangent, but I was thinking back to that Germany event because Two Boy and stuff was there. Everyone was there, and yeah. it was like Castro and Bates, and it was the first time. I, and I was in awe. I mean, for me, these are people that I'd watch for years and look up to, and yeah. it's the first time I met. So that's huge. It's hugely key, though. I thought you have to present yourself kind of in a yes in an opinion mm. in a state where this is a first impression. So people are going to because there was a lot. There were a few people where they kind of went on. They were like the workstations. I did. You, you don't want. I didn't want to force myself on it. And I, I ended up being with uh, Clutch, who does the stuff for Twitch. Yeah, legend. yeah. Uh, Jumbo Ash. He streams on Twitch. Good friend of mine. Like Flair FIFA. Uh, fuck with Jamie we're kind of like all in the same area so we just kind of got the videos done we had a we had a great laugh and when I come back I had the footage I, and a few YouTube videos I had like YouTube videos getting like five, six thousand views and that was a lot for me yeah. then and I was like right you know that was really good and my Twitch my Twitch straight away went up to like I think it was almost like a 500 viewer average which is for yeah. a monster and I thought I thought you know what I need to do I need to start investing so that I did I started investing a lot more in fever points in the game I took a I took a PayPal business loan um, like a working capital PayPal load and actually invested. I thought, right, I'm going to, which to be fair to it was really good because what they did was every time you got a payment, hmm. um, they, they just charge you like a fee. Yeah. So I think it was like four grand, I think is what I took because my credit was terrible and they said so I took like 4,000 pound and it was like a 400 pound fee basically. But they took that every transaction you got into your PayPal, they just took 10% of. Oh, so it was great okay. really. So every time I got paid by Twitch or something, they just, you know, some of the donations just take a cut. So it was great really because you didn't have to worry about payments. I knew they were always going to get yeah, it. Yeah. So I took a few of them over time and I, I kept growing it and sort of risking putting more in, but, but it did work. And then that was so 2020, 
yeah, so it was a Fever 19, 2020. That's when I quit gambling. We had, I, I've said it on a few other pods. Like my best mate said to me, she was fuming because we went to Sunderland away and I promised everyone I wouldn't gamble. I did. I lost like three grand. I mean, the money's irrelevant, but it was like three grand that I'd lost. And that was that was all the money I had in the world. Like I, some of that was that I'd taken for the stream yeah. to invest in. So it's very dangerous. And it's a horrible feeling. I, I was stood there... I, in, in this Halifax and there was like someone in front of me taking ages I'm there like tapping my foot like think absolute stupidity but I lied to them said I didn't they found out I did and like I've never seen them so angry she was mm. so, so like I thought right I can't do this anymore like yeah, I yeah. need to I'm it's so, ruining relationships yeah, yeah, oh, like, yeah. And, and at that yeah at that point I was like you are literally fucking your life yeah. you can't so that was the that almost that year was the snap point I mean, I still like I play cards and I get involved in like football breaks and stuff. But in terms of, you know, there's no football betting, there's no yeah. horse betting, there's no sports betting. You know, there's, there's yeah. no online slots. And so I still watch loads of it on Twitch. I, I love it. I, yeah. I still love it. It will yeah. always be there. I'm, I'm a DJ at heart. I will always, that will never go away. And I, and I still, and I still, once again, in like football cards and stuff, I still, but it's, it's all in moderation. I yeah. know. I know I can. Very self-aware now. And I'm like, but I can, you know, it can go for, it can be used as content and then you can still sell things on and you can trade. So this, it's, it's smart. It's a smarter way to, to give yourself that yeah. excitement without yeah. having to, without having to be a stupid. Yeah. So yeah, that was kind of like, that was almost the turnaround of, of the journey. And it was FIFA 19 team of the season, I think, or it might've been FIFA 20 team of the season, actually. So it took about a year. The, the viewers slowly started like growing. There was one really weird night where um, I tweeted out um, that I was like streaming and then wrote a short or Harry tweeted a pic. It was just a picture he tweeted of him abroad. I think he was in Dubai or something. But on his laptop, he had my stream up. It was really weird. And then a lot of new viewers came in. So I've got a weird memory. I remember a lot of things. Yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was League Un team of the season night. And I had these player picks. They were so expensive. And I'd spent everything. I spent like all day like yeah, yeah. making sure I had loads. I think I had like 15,000 viewers. It was like the most viewers I'd ever had. It was, Jesus. And, and that stream was mental. And then the rest of the team of season was really good. You kind of get the summer lull. And then and since then, it's just sort of slowly grown, really. It's kind of dropped. The thing is, it, it peaked during lockdown. It yeah, I think a lot of people... And now it yeah. has... It, it, did, it, did, it did dip quite a lot, but it has kind of almost like plateaued again, kind of in a, in a consistency kind of thing. Yeah. But I have to look... I try and look at it like, what can I do to... To change it. I mean, I think the game this year is is a bit. I think it, the, the the way they've done it is not as good. I think we've, it's a bit. I, mean, I, I stopped, stopped uploading two yeah, months ago stopped. on FIFA. I've, this is the first FIFA I've done. I saw I upload pretty like daily for like three years on yeah. FIFA, and this is the only team of the season in the last three years that I've. I don't think I don't think I've seen yeah, a team of the season. It's, it's it's really. I think it's so disappointing that the thing for me is I tried to explain is that the. The, the menu content, like I love, I, I, I like, I love, I love the streaming and I want to be, I, I went for it and you do go through periods, especially when, cause I don't have like, I don't have any like agent or anything. I do, I do my stuff on my own. Um, but like I live on my own. I, so yeah, I live on my own. And sometimes I don't see, you don't see people for like four, it is a lonely world. People forget that yeah, as well. Like yeah. it is a lonely world. I don't see people sometimes, for, you know, four or five days. And nowadays I'm trying to make sure that on a Saturday night, I go out, I have a, you know, try and have a yeah. good time. And, Cause when the football's not on, it's, yeah. I think it's really important to help yeah. refresh. You have a little break. So, so, like there are, I find it really demoralizing when not, I don't want to stream, but I, I, I thinking, God, like, I feel like when streaming is a case of, right, I got a stream. Sure. That's when I, yeah. and, and I, I never want to be like that because I, I need to try and, cause right now it's really weird. I'm going for a, a, I'm going through that phase where I'm really motivated and I'm really enjoying. But there's stream. nowhere to channel it. It's right? like, I'm really enjoying mm. streaming. Like I'm kind of like, I've kind of got that streaming addiction yeah, yeah. where I'm, where I'm saying to myself, right, you've got to finish at 3am because you've got stuff to do and it's still five and I'm still alive. And you're not, you're not, you have to try and like, you, when you're live at those hours, you're not sort of doing it to make the money. Yeah. yeah. You're just doing it because you're enjoy because because it's you're enjoying it. It's, it's a job. I try and explain to people streamers are doing a job. It's the same as YouTubers. It's a job. Is this FIFA? But, or... Yeah, I'm still playing FIFA yeah, yeah. at this time. In the summer, you can play other games. Yeah, like, yeah. I, but, I, but I like that as well. I like 
it's weird because obviously FIFA is such my main thing mm. that when you play other games, you know the audience is going to, you know, drop off. But but I get it. I actually totally understand yeah. it. It do, it really annoys me when people go, oh, I can't stand people that just watch the show for one, for one thing, game. Isn't it? Like, well, the, the they'll, think yeah, they'll go. Oh, they're worthy of. Yeah, yeah, I can't stand the watch for one game. I'm like, actually, no. You know what? I watch certain streamers because they play certain Absolutely. games. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I watch a lot of F1 YouTubers. Would I watch them? play another game probably, probably not. not because yeah. I watch them because I love the content they put out yeah. on that game yeah. and that's I, I totally respect that if, and I, I always say to people if you don't want to watch the stream no problem if you if you don't like what's but don't bring the negativity in don't bring yeah. that negativity in of oh why are you not doing this please do that or I want you to do this you tend to find that's the only thing with Twitch nowadays is people do seem like they're quite entitled Yeah, I just feel like you just got to say just chill just you know just enjoy what's going on like if you don't like it you don't have to watch. No one's forcing you to be here. I just, you know, I, I don't mind whether people want to watch or not. I'm just trying to put on the best. I'm just trying to make it the best community and vibes I can Absolutely. for the people for the people that are watching. But I love it. I, I I do love it. I just I have to look at it now. I, like I'm 30, and I know I don't look 30, but it still changes things. Yeah. People say, "Oh, you're not the same as you." I was like, "No, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah. not I, like I, I'm not when I was." You know, when I was 24, 25, throwing stuff around my, I still rage. I have meltdown the other night. I still break stuff like in rage. Like it happens all the natural. And people like, and then you get the other stage. Like, oh, you're fat. You shouldn't be having a meltdown. It's like, well, actually. So I had a stream the other night. I was losing my fucking head. And when you got people in the chat like, you're a cunt. You, you know, you're a prick. You're this. You're that. And nothing is going your way. When all of those factors combined, and it's roasting, and you're when all those factors combined, you do snap. you do snap. Yeah. I did. I did snap the other night. I, I hate it because I I come off stream and I think. What are you doing? Like you, you are a grown man. Like why are you doing that? But sometimes, sometimes you can't control the emotion. And I try and say to people that that get that they're the worst type of people. I'd rather be called like a fat whatever or be abused by someone than have someone try and be a smarmy. Mm. Oh, you're always so this, this, and this. Or you're yeah, always so. Yeah. And I think like, or oh, imagine getting annoyed about that. And I think right. So if you're sat there playing that game and that happens to you, what do you do? Just smile and laugh yeah. off. So like, you think people would resonate with it that I'm. I said I'm not professional enough to just sit there, smile, and laugh off. Yeah, I, yeah. I, like I, that. This that's is just why, me. That's why, that's why it makes you. Used, I, you know, know, yeah, that is just you know that is just me on it. That's all it is. Like I'm yeah. just trying to. Agreed. As I said, I'm just trying to entertain people. That's all I'm. That's what I'm there to do. But yeah, I, I, as I said, I'm getting a bit older now, so I'm trying to trying to look at things of what do I want to do. I do want to keep streaming. I think I do want to do a few other bits because I, I love the presenting side. Like whenever I get, I think a chance you're really, really to do good that. at it. No, I appreciate that a lot, mate. It's You're a very good talker as well. I'd love to get involved. Yeah. Like I'd love to get involved in things like that. It's difficult because I, I don't, the reason I don't have anyone in control is just I like I like to do things involved, by yeah. me. That's yeah. just how I like to do it. All right. We're moving it. Bringing it back to Premier League. Footy talk. Yes. Yeah. Now you're obviously an Argyle fan. Yeah. Premier League? Spurs. Yeah. But I like the kit if it helps. Why Spurs? My granddad well, we was can. a Spurs fan. But well, I do like sense. the kit. I, I respect the way I asked to play football, though. It's not, yeah. New Spurs kit's good. I the, like, yeah, it is nice. Very nice. I do nice. like it. It's simple, but... Yeah. Harry Kane scored 50 goals for England. His yeah. penalty was the 50th goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, is that broken? No, what's Rooney? 52. 52. 52. Rooney's 54. So he's going to break yeah, it. Yeah, he'll get yeah. there. He's going to break it. I love Harry Kane. <laughs> is he your favourite player? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The, him and Foden I like Foden and Grealish but what, what's, the fo what's the Foden no I like Grealish do you know what I just I just think he's class yeah I mean that, yeah that's it's a, just more the fact fine of like opinion. watching him for a couple of years and this, this, is, uh, this has been for a couple of years like when he first started breaking for at City I am very patriotic I, and I have got an absolute English bias so <laughs> people hate that people get rid of nothing people just get angry about yeah, but yeah. absolute English bias just a fan Luke claims to have any ball knowledge but I just think he's absolutely quality do you know what as well at, People, don't get me wrong. People like he's going to be he's world class. Yeah. If he's not already, he's going to be. Oh, I. Do you know what I mean? Is, yeah. But if he was like Spanish, <laughs> we'd be thinking, <laughs> "Fuck me." Do, you know the way right? we talk about He'd be top five in the world. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, you know, you know the way we talk about like Pedri, like a Ballon d'Or winner? Yeah. Why is no one talking about Foden, Ballon d'Or winner? Yeah. Well, I say that. I said. I said it'd be the best. I said it'd be the most successful English player of all time. Do you think? Yeah. I would, uh, yeah. In I, terms I, of I international and club, I mean, just I say, I say more in just terms of ability. I think in a pure ability, right? I think he will. Be, I mean, Bellingham potentially. I was going to mention as well. Yeah, Jude, yeah. I know they're still almost different players, aren't they? But <clears throat> I'm, well, once again, I know we've had players like Rooney, and I think Gerard is probably my my favorite ever. Yeah, yeah. But I, the the one player I get the most think about is Grealish. 
I know, I see it. People I, get I've very, always been Grealish. I love Jack Grealish. No, I think he's absolutely incredible. He's so good. Yeah. But people in my street are very passionate when I bring him up. They don't really. Like it. But people forget that. Like, they think he's just because he had a bad season. He's, but he's, not, so even, he's, not, he's yeah. not even had a bad season. He's gone into a City team full of world class players. Nah, it's the which price makes tag. him look. And the price yeah, tag. Yeah, which yeah. Makes the price tag changes tag. everything. Yeah. yeah. It makes him look like a normal player that yeah. obsessed generation is what we live in yeah, people just can't see the off the ball movement yeah. and, and ability just it just doesn't change the fact that he's good very, yeah. well, well no he is well I think he is a world class level player yeah, yeah. I honestly do and I, I think Villa, Villa fans as well like watch that I swear I've seen some Villa fans like why did you leave but he's sorted that club out massively yeah, it's, it's like, it's that, like, like the, the Coutinho money that started yeah. the new revolution at Liverpool. And yeah, they signed Diego Carlos as well, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, Villa have. What, the centre half? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a couple of, it was like a month ago or something. Oh, but they've yeah. got some sort of like lock on Romano, haven't they? He doesn't get yeah, any of their Villa signings when they signed Danny Ink. Because no one knew about Danny Ink's signing. I mean, Villa, they, like, must, why, they must have like got Romano blocked or something. Yeah, so um, find... Is it Nakamba? Is it not Nakamba? Um, Kamara, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, from uh, Marseille. From Marseille, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they just—it's like the Callum Chambers one. Yeah, when did Callum Chambers go Villa? Just literally, like, it doesn't when uh, they're invisible signings. Yeah, they so are. So Spurs, uh, any anyone you're looking at wanting to get? Uh, what bring in? Yeah. What do you need? Well, I think I mean Romero's unreal. Yeah. And Di to be fair, Dyer had a well, ridiculous so, second half. I, I don't know if it's confirmed, but Perisic. He had a that's, yeah. no, that is, is I confirmed. think that is confirmed. I mean, Kulisevsky obviously is nuts. We've got Benton Kerr. Yeah. I think He's phenomenal. Benton Kerr is I, so I think, good. I think Spurs need another striker just to just give a bit of a competition. Depth. Just uh, for more depth. I mean, yeah. it's Kane and Kane, really, yeah. isn't it? Is Son the uh, most underrated player? player in Premier League history or just the Premier League I this season I don't think he's really under I don't but he's think... not even he didn't even get put no he should have the fact he didn't get nominated for that was yeah. pretty ridiculous considering he got the golden boot yeah I, I, no because penalties. he's underrated is he I, I think Mares is more underrated than Son I love Mares. Mahrez yeah. does so much for Man City. But yeah. Son isn't getting the recognition he does. People say Underappreciated, yeah, underappre maybe. Not, not I underrated. Wonder whether, but I wonder whether I wonder whether him not getting that might be playing on his head in terms of the transfer rumours that he didn't get nominated for that. The, uh, see, I don't, I've said this time and time again on this show. Like, I don't understand how Son hasn't got a Barcelona after them or a Real Madrid after them. Well, but Barcelona we, haven't we got said, any money, have they? Yeah, but we said it's because of his commercial value to Spurs. Oh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, th that is just... They can't get rid of him, mate. He's the golden... And man. he's on like a four-year con... I mean, yeah, it's insanity. He just signed a new contract, it? didn't he? Yeah, that but it's the same in like football cards though with signing football cards. Like the the Asian market is insane. Really, oh, it's insane. It was the hype though over. Do you remember Kubo who yeah, went yeah. for Real Madrid? The hype over his like original cards yeah. was, was was mental. It was insane. Uh, aren't you linked with another South Korea? Like um, who's the centre? Oh, this, name? I, I know that he has got a team. I don't want to butcher his but, name no, because it, it his might name, sound a bit outrageous. But another centre back. You think Davis has also had a really good. Well, both our clubs are in for the same right back at this point as well, or rumoured to. Who's Je that? Jed Spence. Oh, from um, from Borough. Borough. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Emerson's it, a bit of a nutter, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think he's that bad. I think a lot of people give him more stick than he's than he's worth. Doherty's good. He's obviously just. I think Doherty's been he's... Doherty's been a bit mistake prone this year, though. I think, yeah. Isn't he? Where would you rank these three players in order? Right. Son, yeah. Neymar, Mane. What, in terms, what is in right now? Right now. That's really hard. Probably Sun... Yeah, I'd go Sun first. I'd probably go Sun, Mane, but Neymar, actually. Okay, yeah. but this is but people have been talking about Mane, Ballon d'Or. Why are they not talking about Son? Yeah, but Man, Mane hasn't been good enough this year. Mane, Mane I, I rate Mane as a footballer. He had a, good, he had a real lull patch, though, I think, during the season. He did, yeah. I, f I think he's a great footballer. Afcon. I do think he's a fantastic footballer. He's also getting a bit old. I mean, to be fair, Neymar and Son are probably getting a bit old as well. Yeah. Neymar's like 31 or something, isn't he now? I think they're all like, th like regional. Yeah, so yeah I'll take they? all three of them, but Neymar... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take it's a good front I'll line. Take, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, take all three honest. of them. So you'd rate it Son... I'd probably go Son, Mane, Neymar. But I, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't that's not like a yeah no a clutter, that's that yeah. but I think any order I would accept it's like it's um I think any order someone I'd someone take. said in the in one of my uh, group chats I'm in the other day Benzema Kane or Luis Suarez peak and you go Suarez well they're all so well uh, well well they're all 
I don't un- think unplayable. Option, like you, yeah. can't, you can't go wrong. But the problem, like the just, problem is, is that you're ranking a, a top three where be- every single answer is correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I'd Benzema, also take Benzema either, yeah. out of those three, Benzema's more likely to win the Ballon d'Or, but Suarez would have won the Ballon d'Or if Messi and Ronaldo didn't exist. Yeah, but I mean, in your team, in your team, if you if, uh, let's go back in time to whenever they were at the peak, and you went, oh, you can only get one. It's like a Pokemon situation. Oh, you, get, you get one. Do I think? I think. Do you know? I said Suarez. I think Suarez would actually be. For yeah, in a pure prime, in pure prime, he was yeah. different grade. I mean, I, I, in that conversation, I did take Suarez, but it's it's literally personal preference. Yeah. When you get to that level of ability, mm. it's not a case of oh, he was better than he. You know, it's like well, you prefer that kind of player to another kind of player. It's what I say with it's what I say with England. We have so we have so many good. I, I, people mock me when I said we on paper we probably got to be what. Third best team at the at absolutely hundred yeah. percent behind. I agree. I said behind France. Yeah, and me- Brazil, well, I said maybe Brazil. Brazil and po- people go nuts about Portugal. I don't know if Portugal are that good. They've got some obviously some no, ridiculous no. players. If on a t- person by player by player yeah. by player basis, England squad is better than Portugal. Oh, it's unreal. Oh, yeah, of course, and of course, I, and of course. And I, clear. I try saying people, I'm, I'm. You think I try and underplay it so that it, when it, if it does go wrong, yeah. I can. No, we should be. But I do think our defense. Is it's, it's not def- as strong as the midfield and absolutely, attack. Absolutely, absolutely. No, no, but it's still it's still rid- it's still Carl very Walker, good. Walker, arguably one of the best. But right I think backs you can choose any. I think. think you can choose any of the three right backs and. But not that's have the problem. The, the, the problem is the amount of uh, quality and depth is all in one position. Yeah, no centre backs. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, but John Stones. for England is good. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for England, I don't know what happens to him, but he puts an England top on and something goes whoa. Yeah, I'm an eighty million. It's not defender. Ruben Diaz, though. I mean, like if you compare no, it across. No, 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 it's not. But but then we've got other positions yeah. that you know we've got good goalkeepers. I think you can take well play Pickford or Ramsdale and be happy, but I'd rather have Pickford because he plays well. For yeah, me. it's the it's the Pickford England. It's the same as Maguire, isn't it? Like for yeah. for England, he, as you know, back end of this season, he he has, was very good. He's he had, was he's, very. He was he's had, he's had an unreal for the whole football. season. He's been a yeah, defense yeah, yeah, front that's of him that's been yeah. abysmal. But it's just um, ju- I think we're, we're gonna see Ramsdale pushing. Where he's knocking on the door. He's playing. Well, he's, he's, no, he's, I said oh, I'd put a word. Yeah, I'm happy with either. But you know what Southgate's like? He's gonna play Pickford. I reckon. I reckon Aaron gets a game or two in the in the uh, groups. If we let's like because people hate England because it's now Wales. People, people, we haven't actually addressed I, I this. Know, on... we, uh, people hate people hate England, though, don't they? They they want us to fail, yeah. right? And there are many. You know, we, we know the Scotland flags already. Uh, Scotland fans already have their Iran flags read in their bio. For yeah, every day. yeah, yeah. Just to say that before probably it does go wrong. At least we qualified. Um, <laughs> Uh, they did love to give it the big. They love to give it the big one, but I'm yeah. saying they will. They'll change their flag to every single nation yeah. that we play against. So I get it. It's football. Would you, uh, out of out of interest, would you have taken Wales in our group or Scotland? Oh, or surely Ukraine? Scotland. You'd take Scotland, wouldn't you? I don't mind playing it. Look, people always go, oh, it's English over confidence. Look, on paper, we should win all three games, but yeah. it's the World Cup and anything can happen. Yeah. But actually... It doesn't matter as long as we do win. win. But we should, we, should win, we should win those three games comfortably. Yeah, yeah easily. Look, on, really, we should. Yeah. But obviously, we know it doesn't happen like that. Look the Americans at, are good. No, no the Americans have got some good players. I yeah. won't... I wouldn't... That's probably my most feared game. I wouldn't yeah. go into any game with a... But the reason why I said Scotland as well is Wales have Gareth Bale. Well, you take Ukraine and really out look, of three. If Bale you had made, the choice because there's no there's no like yeah. like banana skin rivalry yeah. there. You just but Bale is he may not be the player he was, but he's a player that can just produce on the big stage. He could score a free kick from 35 yards. And no, no, of course, and things do happen. But if you look at well, the majority of Wales yeah. squad, they're mainly Championship players. Yeah, yeah. So they've got some Premier. They have got some quality players in there, but. Pound for pound, but as you, it's the World Cup, anything can happen. It doesn't matter whether we're. I agree. Yeah, yeah. There, there's expectation there, and we'll always say it's coming home, but every England fan that's watched them for 20 plus years yeah. will know that nothing's guaranteed for that, like, as a nation. Well, speaking of Gareth Bale, obviously, he said goodbye to Real Madrid. He actually got. Uh, he actually got. Is, is he, uh, he's linked again. I thought Cardiff was where he was linked. Oh, is that where he's. Oh, I do you reckon? Well, he, he, got his, he got his standing ovation. They finally cheered him saying goodbye. He's, yeah. so, he's so good though, isn't he? Oh he's so my good. Days. The fact that they turned on him. I love Bale. I, I yeah. think he, I, well, I, I, I love can Bale. imagine. Yeah. I, I, and I'm an Arsenal fan. I love Bale. I, love I watched Bale. that last goal he scored for Spurs again the other day. Ridiculous. Yeah, Bends the top bins. So um, good. What, do you think Cardiff? 
That, that's what's rumoured, but it keeps like resurfacing. Yeah. I, but I also think he's surely Cardiff, too good. Though. He is. Pre- he's Premier League quality, he's man. Sure, he's, he's yeah, sure but he also good. got to remember he's got a bar in Cardiff. <laughs> he right. owns a bar in Cardiff. He could probably quite happily just go and play for and play, Cardiff and yeah, play golf, around all Play week. golf, check out his bar. Yeah. He wants to live a good life. I think he yeah, has what, done to yeah, be honest, in Wales, I think, so. I think, yeah, I think he has led a good life for the last yeah, few years. Yeah, but this is, this is you, you're just arguing, you're arguing against the Salah propaganda you put forward the other day when you, uh, when you were like, oh, well, you'd want to move to a hot country, try something new. Hear me out on this one. Salah <laughs> won all he can win at Liverpool. You know, he, money to him, probably not, he doesn't care about his wage. As long as he's sick, the same wage, it's fine. Why would he not want to go try out what it's like playing for Barcelona? Different country, different culture, different fans, different everything. Yeah, but why? What, <coughs> what I mean is, why would why is Bale going home? He's Welsh. <laughs> yeah, but Mate, he wants but to go he, back. But he's played his entire career in the Premier League. Yeah, he's also getting on. He wants to play golf and check out his bar. Right. Okay. So that's the argument going, as to why did, did Bale's the only, going the only issue Cardiff have is that Bale's on what six hundred k a week at Real Madrid, which is more than the, the entire squad at. Cardiff. Yeah, I think there's an issue. He's got to take a bit of a pay cut. Just a bit. I think you play for a Premier League. I reckon he might end at Cardiff as like last year, but I think I think he should go to a Premier League. Villa. He'll go to that's the sort of team he probably would do well at. Villa. Should I go back to Southampton? I reckon go back to Southampton. He could. He could. Because otherwise I think they're in big trouble. Then him and James Will Prowse linking up. Who would take free kicks? Right, JWP, surely. And then longer range. Will he go to the World Cup? No. Will Prowse, I'd take him. I don't think. I think he's. I think he offers something completely. Isn't it different sick though it? that like there are players like him, like Madison, for example, yeah. that are like really good, and yet mm. they're not. <laughs> yeah, but I bet you. He, he, well, you got you got the I amount think, of I think Ward centre mid depth that we have is ridiculous. Yeah, I think Ward Powell should go, but I just don't think he will. Okay. Do you know? I just don't think he will. Yeah. I and see. also, it depends how the next season goes as well. Yeah, it's a lot of it's <clears throat> a lot of it's like recency biased. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at Bowen. Bowen's in the form of his life, isn't he? I yeah. think Bowen should go. Well, he should do on the way he's playing. Absolutely, yeah, I think he's absolutely quality. Um, yeah, we spoke about Bowen being a potential um, fill-in for whoever leaves Liverpool, but it turns out it might be Darwin Nunez. Yeah, I've seen that. Seventy million was yeah. it? I saw. That's, you get yeah, eighty-eight million, yeah, yeah. plus add-ons. Uh, but United also interested in him. Um, the moment I saw, you know, it's funny because. <laughs> I can specifically remember. I think I saw like a Darwin Nunez to Man United uh, montage YouTube video thing where they put like the skills out. And the moment I saw that, I was like, like, I was little beat under. Yeah, yeah. The moment moment, moment I saw that, I was like, he's not going United. There's no this guy. Whatever happens because of this YouTube video and some weird butterfly effect, it doesn't suit United. It's not. It's not happening. He's a Liverpool player, man. They, yeah, they're yeah. Mane's going. It looks like they, it's pretty. They locked. need him. They need. They didn't need him. They needed to replace Mane. Well, well, they've done it again. They've taken the best performing uh, league and loss player. <laughs> Lewis and just, again. Yeah, just gra- Mate, grab yeah. them in. 34 goals and 41 games for Benfica. <laughs> yeah, that is nuts. I mean, Diaz is very, very talented he's, as he's, well. And he's, and he's fit straight in. He's hit uh, the ground qu- running. Quite, to be fair, quite a lot of Portuguese league exports have come to the Premier League and done very well. Run off exactly. Came straight in and <laughs> But actually, this, yeah. this puts me onto a point. Diaz. This puts me onto a point. Maybe we just take the Portuguese you, league. So chance. this man, he's delusional sometimes. It does my head. Right. Luis Diaz fits straight in. No, skinny small man. He thinks that Haaland's not going to fit straight into the Prem. Yeah, I, no. think, I, I agree with you though. I, he's Haaland will surely. The, he's going to kick the ground. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. The, he's got the amount of people providing for him. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. He's playing the yeah, best yeah. team in the world. He's one of the best strikers in the world. He's literally built like a brick shit house. Yeah, he struggles a bit of injuries. Doesn't mean he's not going to. He might take running. four or five games to warm into it. Mate, he's getting twenty plus seen. goals in the first season. If he stays injury free, do you think that as well? Yeah, I think you're smart. I think, I think, uh, Premier League goals, twenty plus. Ooh, I mean, that's a, that is a lot. That's isn't a lot. It? Of that goals. is a lot. I think, I think he'll Tom. take a few games to get going, but I think after that, he'll just keep. Yeah, yeah. He'll just keep chipping away. He won't do a Lukaku, who is arguably one of the worst. You no, know, but that's in not. Premier that's League. incorrect because Lukaku's first two games were probably his best performances. Yeah. In the Premier League, and then the look at the rest of the season. No, right? but you've just said that now, he won't do Lukaku and be a flop. Yeah, was a, well, that's what, I wasn't referring to the opening games. I was oh, saying, okay, sure. Lukaku was like arguably like the worst Premier League signing of all history. For the price tag, I mean, is he the worst Prem signing ever in history? If you if you if you if you include how much money he was compared to his output of this season, probably eight goals maybe. 
in 26 Prem games, most 15 and 44. Most people would probably say Maguire, though, wouldn't they? That's what probably yeah. most people would say. 15 and 44. Maguire wasn't that bad at uh, Yeah, but I tried to... I, thing is, I like. I actually like Maguire. I, I, I try to defend Maguire, but then, you know... you. It does get to a yeah, certain yeah, level yeah. where, but I also think you keep a, doing a, the but, things. But, but, that yes, <laughs> but there is also the other hand where it's, and, and this is where social media doesn't help. Is yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. he's scapegoated for everything. The things that aren't even his fault. Yeah. When Man United played Liverpool, um, that I can't remember if you, do you remember that first goal when Man United played Man United played Liverpool and the Salah. I think it was wasn't Maguire it? pushed. Yeah, Maguire pushed, but but no one. Everyone blame Maguire, whereas all Mag Maguire pushed. Oh, the second Maguire, game. Ma yeah, Sorry, yeah, the yeah, Diaz yeah, the goal. Game. Yeah, Maguire, yeah. Maguire pushed to close the space, but it's Dallo who doesn't who, who doesn't yeah. listen to what he's doing. It's the defenders behind him. It was oh Maguire, Maguire was like, actually Maguire saying, well, you're supposed to press with me. Yeah. No one's pressed, but but everyone's like it's Maguire. Mag well, it, people yeah. read plays of football matches how they want to. Rather than well, how it actually, no, I'm, I'm the same. Yeah, with, yeah. I'm the same with Argyle. You'll find a player that you, it's, it's always the same, isn't yeah. it? Someone will, it will always be. Who's the current Argyle scapegoat for you? I mean, we don't really have. I don't. I wouldn't say we've got a, any scapegoats okay. at the moment. Like, there's no real direct. How was the end of the season? We horrific. Didn't even, yeah, yeah, we didn't. We didn't actually touch on that. Yeah, horrendous. I didn't know. I didn't know if we should bring it up for fur. Like, no, it's, it's fine. I mean, like, regurgitating emotional it pain. It happens, or mate. Like at the end of the day, it happens. So, like, it, well, so we, for we, context, Argyle were in playoff positions in the final day of the season. Yeah, we bottled it. Up. Absolutely. Yeah. We abs oh. We ab yeah, we absolutely bottled it. I mean, we got battered. The funny thing is, MK Dons didn't go up, which is great because they they were giving it the big one. And then yes, they went, we uh, we we were uh, because we were obviously live streaming the final day. Um, yeah. Uh, and they, and thinking, it, no, it was, a, was it a week before? Might have been a week. No, before. it was the sa same day. They needed to win like seven nil. They had to win, yes, but, Rotherham, but then Rotherham won. Yeah. So Rotherham, but they went mad for like their fourth goal. Yeah. And I thought I was just like, well, well, you're going crazy for a goal, but technically means nothing because you still got a. Well, it wasn't as bad as uh, when Liverpool scored. Who it? Salah scored, and the ground. Oh, someone thought, told him it was someone yeah, told the ground, told. and even the sub was like, "Oh my god!" And Salah found out the news. Was like, I've done my Aguero moment. No, yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. yeah you, that was crazy. You've been trolled, unfortunately. Um, I think it's time to do my favourite part of the show. And it will be yours as well, actually, probably, unless you enjoyed the conversation. No, I, I yeah, love I the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I can yap for hours, mate. <laughs> Are we ready for the quiz? Are we ready to go? Yes. Yep. Question number one, who has scored more goals against Liverpool? They've both played two games, Nunes or Haaland. Oh. They've only played two games. They've both each. played two games yeah. each. Well, I know. I remember Nunes did score in there. Nunes has scored, well, no, this is up to you, but I know how many Nunes has scored against Liverpool. Well, I'm assuming that, it, would, would that have been for Salzburg though? Was it was it Salzburg Liverpool? I, it probably was. So I'll go yeah. Nunes. Go I think Nunes. Nunes has scored twice against Liverpool, but I can't see Haaland scoring more than twice. Nunes has scored three. Yeah, Haaland scored three. one. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Nunes, Nunes correct was, answer. It was Nunes. One out of one. He scored three. Bloody hell. Yeah. No wonder they want him. Exactly. That's Klopp was like, mate, this guy's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> He's got three goals against this game. Uh, but that's the best way to scout someone, right? They, they smashed United, the team to pieces. That's what United it's, did against Porto for Ronaldo. Is it? Yeah, I mean, no, uh, sporting, sporting Lisbon. Sporting, sporting Lisbon, once, sorry. Actually, uh, Nick Chadwick, when we played Everton a long time ago in the FA Cup, we lost 1-0 at home and uh, Nick Chadwick, we signed from... Really? This was a long time ago. Yeah, we signed from Everton. Just from that one Just game? Just from that, yeah. We've had a couple of massive games. Sorry to interrupt your quiz. We played... No, no, no. Yeah, we had Watford as well. And Ben Foster, actually, the game was life. We lost 1-0 <laughs> at home. And it was a ridiculous game. We battered them all game. This is when they were like bottom of the prem. Yeah. And we were in the championship. We absolutely battered them. They just saved everything. Literally everything. He did a Thibaut Courtois. Oh, he did have a ridiculous... He had a ridiculous game. All right, question number two. Question number two. Two players in Premier League history have recorded 20 assists in a season. Can you name both of them? 20 assists in a season. I've got it. We're sure his son's one of them. 20 assists. It's Katie being Henri, isn't it? Yeah, it's not Son. What? I didn't hear... I thought... All oh, right, I thought him and Kane had a new record. No, in one season. season. One season. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was... I think it's Katie being I think Henry. it's Katie being Henri. That's what I thought. But you can't splurt out the answer. Oh. Wait, Henri got 20 assists. Yeah, because I think he's the only, I think he's one of the only people to get 20 goals and 20 assists. To, um, not necessarily in the same year, but 
total. Well, I'll go with. I, I have. I'll. I'll, I'll I've, 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 I've kind Who of would you have said? Yeah. No, I no. Some was only my instant answer because I thought I I thought it was this season. But yeah, I'm just trying to think. I think KDB would have been one of them. I wouldn't have even known. Kev's oh, definitely one. I tell you what, I wouldn't have said on Ray. Really? Only because he was a striker. Probably my fa- I would say probably the best Premier League player ever. Is he? I think. Yeah. You're number one. Yeah, and that he's asked. Yeah, I think so. Interesting. Yeah. Very good. Uh, this could, if this is wrong, I'm going to look silly, but. No, it, it is KDB and Omri. Well, yeah. KDB and Omri. I wouldn't have expected Omri to get... That's Imagine insane. Yeah, 20, 20 plus goals, goals, 20 plus assists in one season. No, it's not one season. They're in different seasons. Was it the Invincible oh. season he got the assist though? I don't think so. I doubt it. We won't no, have yeah. one nil. <laughs> or nil nil. <laughs> he got... He got uh, how many goals did he get in that year? He got 31, I think. 30 goals. See, that, that you know, think, think how good Salah has been this year. 23 goals. Yeah, on right, thirty one. Yeah, but Salah's had thirty two before. Like you can't. I know. As a winger as well. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think Henri's better. Yeah. In, in terms of, I know. Well, I'm, I'm, he's my king. Sorry. Yeah, he's my king as well. But I, I do feel like we are also like nostalgia plays a big uh, part. To nah, it. man. Like, no, I'm not denying. I'm not. De- no, I'm not denying. I'm, oh, you know, Henri's my my boy. Yeah, he's my favorite. But I think nostalgia for a lot of people is like yeah but Thierry Henry man. I know I know I know he got, in, he got goals when stats weren't even I bet, a thing I bet you in like, like that's I bet you in like 15 years we're going to be like <laughs> Salah what a player he was yeah probably yeah. yeah people will look back in hindsight and go Mohamed Salah maybe yeah. should be valued higher than playing devil's advocate man I'm an Henry <laughs> fan uh, question three you can have multiple choice if you're struggling on this one okay uh, who was the top goal scorer in the bottom half of the Premier League this season <laughs> Oh, so I guess, that's a good question. Can we get up the prem table or not? No, uh, off by heart. No, do it. Off do by heart. Minute. I like that question a lot. I don't, I don't want multiple choice. I'd like so, a second to second. I've got an answer. I've got an answer. Well, right, let's run through the teams. I'm thinking South. Right, so Southampton would probably have been what? Pro, Ward Prowse probably. Ward Prowse. Lot, Ward. Ward Prowse, I reckon, scored a lot. He had a lot of pens and free kicks. Well, didn't he score? Yeah, I think he got eight goals. I think I'm pretty sure. That's quite a few for the Is bottom it? half of the team. Yeah, yeah but you've got. How many did Pookie score? Pookie got a few. I, I think it's either Pookie or Tony. I think Tony for the f- he, even though he had that nah, spell when he was out, spell, he? but his end of the end of the season he bagged a lot. Tony, what about Newcastle? Uh, Jordan Jordan no. I'm, I'm just trying to think. Bruno, of Bruno, Bruno, so Bruno we'll, go, we'll go from bottom to top. So Norwich, Pookie, yeah, that's a good. Uh, Watford, don't think any suggestions there. Maybe Dennis, probably not. Nah, no way. Watford. Burnley, <laughs> doubt yeah, it. Didn't get a few. No, Corner got a few, scores. but that's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Leeds. Well, they've no all one. been injured and they've all been injured. Everton. Richarlison. He has scored a lot. He's got a few. I think he's got he's a got lot. more than Tony. I think he's got like 13, Yeah, I think Richarlison's probably in double figure. He has scored... He's pretty much... The but to- Tony's definitely in double figures as well, though. The thing is, though, is Everton have, Everton have lost a lot of games, but I'd swear they lost a lot of, like three twos and four twos. They scored a lot of goals. I think Richarlison scored more than Tony. Maybe it is Richarlison. Or maybe you can... If you want to say... T- I'm gonna, no, because we're... Look, I, I think it's Ivan Tony, but I don't actually know I'm trying to think, Villa, answer. Ings hasn't got that many, has he? No. Watkins hasn't got that many. They've got, they've got a lot of different players. Palace. Zaha. Nah, there's no it's way, I don't Wolf. think. I'm trying to think. And there's who's... no way IU scored like that sort of many goals. Um, who are we missing? Brighton? I think they finished ninth, no. didn't they? Oh, did they? I'm not, I think so, might. So, right, let's go. So if we had Newcastle... I'm going to go Tony, but I it, I think I think Richardson's right, but I'm going to go Tony because that's my original thought. Why don't you, yeah, why don't you, so you're going Tony. Yeah. I'm going to go Richarlison. I'm going to back Richarlison. Yeah, fair enough. So from the players you mentioned, Wilfred Zaha actually scored 14, but... No, Palace, no but way! Palace finished in the top half. Oh, oh okay. He got 14 so goals. So it's, it's Ivan Tony with 12. Oh, thank you. Tony, how many did Richarlison get? Uh, like, nine. Sh- 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 oh, nine? Oh, I thought he had more oh, than shit. that. Fair play. I, I knew he was in double figures. because Zaha, 14 goals. I didn't know Underrated. That, no Wilfred one's realised. Wow, that's what I mean. He's a baller. I didn't yeah. know he scored 14 goals. They're all penalty spots, though. No, <laughs> I'm joking. He, did, he got a few. I know. Well, Tony got... Two hat tricks, didn't he? Bloody hell! God, that's, a, that's pretty impressive. Think Brentford will have you. second season syndrome. Think they'll struggle next year. It depends if they keep Ericsson because he might go elsewhere. Well, they only had him for the second half. They were still pretty good without. Yeah, him. That, I, I agree. But that was, well, uh, he's a boy. Yeah, he is. I like it depends if they keep Tony. Well, he's not going to go. I doubt he'd go anywhere. I doubt Arsenal. Go anywhere. Who else? I swear they were linked with someone. Who are they linked with? Uh, another Danish 
Oh, it doesn't. I don't. No, think there is. Really. He's gone. There are so many. I tell you now. I was looking this morning when I got up and I was just scrolling through Twitter and the amount of like Romano because I do. I do trust his. He's normally right. Yeah, isn't yeah. But the amount of tweets I was seeing of to gone signing. I see Matt Target's gone to Newcastle. I think that was from Villa. Yeah, that was confirmed. I know Leeds have Leeds have signed a Danish player. That right back. Yes, so they have. Sol- yeah, yeah, yeah. Sol- Who's Sol- the guard? Dam's guard. Where's he at? Oh, probably still at Fiorentina. Is it not? Is it at- Atalanta. Hold on, why is no one coming? How good was he in the Euros? Yeah, pr- pretty good. Why is no one coming after Dam's guard, mate? Maybe he's just not in a good season. I don't know. Newcastle go after Dam guard. Dan Burn and Dan's guard. That was a big signing. But on he's Kamara, he, I like, I like him. Those the thing is like, there's certain footballers that I just, I like, I just like. It's like Timo <laughs> Werner. I like Werner. I yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, Something about them. He's like Bruno. It's the same as St. Max for a minute. Like, mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I, I, it's just so party time. Just great. It is, to watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's. I know it's obviously a little bit different, isn't it? but yeah. it just absolutely. Well, great. I mean, like Foden and Grealish are similar as yeah, well. They like that I flair. think their ability though is better. Yeah. I just think what it is with St. Max. So are we saying you're on one out of three or two out of three? For which one? Well, I've only got oh. one. I technically have got one point because I wouldn't have got on Reeves. So okay. I'm only on we'll one do one. We'll, we'll be. Yeah, we'll be. We'll be fair. I'm only on one point. Reeves on three. I am. He's flying. No, nerd. A uh, question for, so James Tarkowski is leaving Burnley this summer, uh, but he's made 194 appearances for them in the Premier League. Has he got more wins or clean sheets? <laughs> That's a good but question. 29 million, I think he's gone to Everton for. I think I saw. Really? I think so. 29 good, million. Good season. No, no sorry. Good signing. No, tell. Like, I think, so I made an error. I think it's because he's 29. I, th- I thought that was the price. I was going to say, I think I misread it. I think he is, he is 29, I think. James Probably. Is he 29? I think he is 29. More wins or clean sheets? He's good sheet. though, Tyler. I, well, I, I'm, I'm back clean sheets. I it's think probably clean wins. It's I probably think it's wins. clean probably wins. I think it's clean sheets. I've seen Bernie get a lot of nil nils, man. Yeah, <laughs> but. A lot of nil nils. They've probably won a lot of 1 nils. You've got to remember, they've probably won a lot of 1 nils. That's what I mean. It's got to be clean yeah. sheets. I'm going clean sheets, surely. Because they, they've got more clean sheets than wins this season. So if you extrapolate that back, I'm that's got to be. What are you going for? I'm going to go clean sheets. Yeah, I'll go clean sheets. I'll, be diff- I'll just go wins. I think it's wins. It is wins. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! 64 wins, 52 clean sheets. Oh, that's clear as well. Is it with Michael Keane then at Everton? They've, re- they've got bad least defence. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, just next thing you know, they got Sean Dyche in. <laughs> what, instead of Frank? I'm calling it. You heard it here first. Sean Dyche will go I to Everton. I think people are almost quite incorrectly harsh on Frank. Yeah, I agree. He kept them up. They were yeah, yeah. Playing, he did his job. They were yeah. playing terrible football, and he's kept them in the prem. Beat Chelsea. Yeah, got some good results. Yeah, and defense. I just, I mean, when you're in the point they're where you can't them. buy any players, and you, your defense is playing that poorly, yeah. then what? Well, luckily, they're uh, Jordan Pickford. And Pickford. Yeah. Baller. All right, good. number five. Uh, the final question is: Who am I? I supported Barcelona as a child, but I've never played in Spain. I've won 13 trophies, including one for my country, and my dog is called John after one of my teammates. <laughs> Current teammate. Current teammate. John. I've won... <laughs> this is impossible. I've, sorry, I've won 13 trophies. Including one for my country. Including a country. But I supported Barcelona as a child, but never played in Spain. So they can't be Spanish. Sport Barcelona child but never played in Spain. They can't be Spanish. I'm trying to think of current famous Johns. But also they can't. Uh, I, I've got an answer, but I don't know if it's right. Well, hang on, hang on. Just pause the answer. Don't say it out loud. I'm not going to. They can't. They can't play in Spain because our, you know, most Spaniards would start off in Spain. Yeah. Right. What's right? throwing me off is the current. I'm trying to think of a current of a current famous John. Is the John quite a famous footballer? Yeah, you know him. You know. Well, I'm thinking John McGinn, so I'm thinking... John Bruno. McGinn. Who's the word Barcelona? 13... If you need, you can have the countries he's played in. Yes. Wait, already? Wait, well, okay, no, okay. no, no, no. That's well, who are you? So Pause that's the podcast oh, yeah, yeah. for two minutes. You, 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 he can't be Coutinho, no, no, he's played no, in Spain. No, no, no. I'm not no, saying Coutinho. No, it doesn't have to be My Coutinho. My answer's not Coutinho. But it can still be Aston... You got to think of players that have... Exactly. ...won a lot of trophies for Aston. There's not many, surely. Potentially. John. Big John McGinn. What other Johns are there? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. John, John Wayne. John Wayne, yeah. That's <laughs> one of them ones I think like all day to think John about. John Legend. 
Do you want? Does Re- why don't we before you give us a country? Is Reeve should is John McGinn your? What's your guess? You should be allowed to say it before we get a hint. They play for Villa. I'm guessing. Douglas Luiz. He's played in Spain. Has he? Yeah, he played for. They signed him from um, thirteen trophies. He was at City for a bit, so I just presume that. No, he, they signed him. They signed. He, he's played in Spain. He was on loan, at, uh, like um, Vi, like Vicano or something like that. He's definitely played in Spain. Really, one hundred percent. Thirteen I've trophies is a mate, thirteen. I've done the Liga SPC okay. enough times. Thirteen trophies is a lot. Yeah, but he played for Brazil. There's no, yeah, but nah. he's only won one international trophy. He's got to be an older player. Exactly. Can we have the so what's the that? Country? The Olympics? Does the Olympics count? <laughs> I don't know. Are we allowed the job? That Do was have, my original. That was my original. That way. Oh, does it? Yeah. The uh, John... You can have the countries he's played in. He's played in Portugal, France, and England. Okay, wait, wait. So, who won the Euros? Italy. What? Who won the World Cup? Why are you thinking of those things? France. Because the international it's, trophy. It's the John. I think the John is... It, it's got to be a famous... Jo- it's got to... If they're currently playing. The John has been named in the podcast already today. What? Is the John currently playing? Yeah. Oh, John Stones. It's Man City. John Stones. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. They played in France and they played in... Portugal. So it's got to be like... Oh. Le, oh no, the Ruin no, no, not his age. He's way too young to have won no, no, trophies. No, no, Okay. It's got to be an older... It's got to be an older player. Bernardo Silva. That probably is a good shout because he has played... Won the Euros. Has played in Won France. the Euros. What was the other? What was it? Wait, France and Portugal. Yeah, Bernardo th- Silva's played. Thirteen trophies. Yeah, won the he Euros. played for Monaco. He played. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. It is Bernardo. Silva. Yes, team effort. Wrong, John. I'm giving that one to you there, Theo. Well done, mate. Douglas Luiz, you idiot. He's great as well. What, what do you mean? Have you seen? Idiot. He was at City. Idiot. Have you seen? Um, so stupid. Bernardo Silva. You uh, didn't even. You couldn't even. You, sorry. Yes. That's brilliant. Yes, so good. Sorry, it's brilliant. you said John Wayne as your John. Yeah, that's just going through different Johns in life. Look, think about it, mate. <laughs> what the you cowboy? Can't, from... you, can, you can't the Olympics trophy. John Terry was Douglas, the first John. Yeah, I yeah, think. You're cowboy. telling me Douglas cost Douglas Luiz played in the Olympics. Might have done. I, I was shocked that you said Douglas Louise. Actually. Yeah, he, he's, I, honestly, if I said Douglas Louise, I would have got laughed at. If he says Douglas Louise, <laughs> yeah, no, everyone no, goes, you know on. what? It's an intelligent I answer. I thought, I, I, by process of elimination, I thought John McGinn, because obviously that's the first name that came to my head, right? And then I thought Brazil, okay, international trophy, competent, winning stuff. Douglas Louise was at City, might have got trophies in the squad. 13 of them. Yeah, no, that's pretty, yeah, pretty outrageous. Delusional, I tell you. It was a weird guess, Ruth. Right? Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm shocked. Sorry. That I didn't even know he played in Spain. I mean, I've had some bad guesses, but <laughs> I think he has. I'm pretty sure he has. I'll have to check it. Arguably embarrassing. Well, you know, someone's, um, someone's madness is another man's genius. Before we end it, Pi, yeah. um, I was lucky enough to go on a little bit of a, 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 a short night out of you at the end of last year after yes. a little event. Yes. And, uh, you know, we got talking. Who's this? You were there. Oh, the we there, we ended up oh yeah! Random places, and, I was, and yeah. I was like, "Yeah, honestly, lads, the other night just not was popping, bell to what? We're the only ones in there. We <laughs> yeah. literally were the only ones in there. Yeah, where were we doing again for that? It was classic football shirts night. Oh, that was it. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, oh, well, and I had look, a, oh dear. Yes, I remember that. You oh. were, yeah. W- w- I had out of yeah. Oh, that's because I'd done strong ones. Yeah, you did it. With yeah, Becky. Oh, with Becky. No, yeah. and I was just walking around. If you can picture it, for the people listening, I was walking around the, the, like, and it was a it was a pretty up event. There mm. was some like I think Ian Wright and that was there. And Gaza was there. Yeah, yeah. Gaza was there. They were having proper like a stage on, and I was walking around with the program, like trying to seem like I was, <laughs> yeah. that look like I was talking about. I was trying to haggle for Matt worn <laughs> shirts with the staff. Yeah, that wasn't uh, that was classic football shirts are. One of our partners here, yeah, they're behind us. What's your favourite kit of all time? Of all time, yeah. I, do you know, I just did shirt shopping with Ellis. Oh, we found the oh nice. Argo, which I think the, the, your one, the England one, is iconic. Nice, no, beautiful shirt. We'll have to get you to sign it. Um, thank you. I will, I'll have to get that done. We actually That's need to. Nice. We actually need to. Uh, yeah. Give that. The, we have the winner. Was we, that, Did you get a gin, uh, Ginsters kit? Is that the... Oh, yeah, don't... Oh, we'd see this is the thing. This is a crap. Rubbish pasties. Don't eat them. <laughs> no, but the, the, the Argyle kit is a, is a... It was against us. It's not... It's changed again for... I meant the one you bought at Ellis. Was that not... Oh, no, no. I didn't buy the against us Okay, one. okay. No, it's Rotolock. It's like an old, old sponsor. Right. And I think the other one was... Um, 
TCL, yeah, we don't like it. We don't like it. Oh, is that not a... It's, uh, it's actually, no, did one, was one of them against... One of them might have actually well, been Is Guinness just Cornish? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's no, fine. No, but no, no, but no, 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 no. It's just a bad past Okay, thing. all right. Just over, if, you're in, if you're in Plymouth, if you go to probably like... It's Oggy, Devon, Oggy. isn't it? So yeah, like... yeah, yeah. But if you're in Plymouth, if you go to like Oggy Oggies or like Rose. <laughs> you know. Yeah, Rose is, is my... That's actually what it's called. Oggy Oggies. Oggy Oggy I've never been to You can't eat, like, not pay. As I say, you always say this because people are like, oh, they're getting money. Never paid to say that. They they post them, judge. They're very nice, but they they sell them in my local spa. They got a rose, nice pasta. Oh, local spa as well. The reason why I brought spa up that shop, night yeah. out actually yeah. because we got talking about your fitness journey. Oh right, yeah, it it is you you unbelievable, mate. Says he. Says Mr. No, no, no. There's the, d- different journeys are yeah tailored differently, but yours is fantastic. I said to you before I was uh, before the podcast, I was eating a croissant. And I said I feel guilty actually for eating this. He had one as well. I had a chocolate croissant. It's even yeah. worse. Uh, but then I got porridge. Just a, a literal slab of it. It's, 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 it's so I, I much treat this as an away day. Like an away yeah. day tray. I'm going to probably have up a crust or something in a minute, I think, for the, for the yeah. tray. Um, how is it all going? Do you know what? It's going all right. It is going all right. I can't, I'm, I'm shocked it's still being able to go. Like 18 months, I think mm. I've been doing it for now. Is it, uh, like, What do you currently do then? What's your um, plan? Because obviously like the people that watch you yeah. are fully inspired or would be. They probably don't know when well, they see your stories, but they don't necessarily know what you've done yeah, to get I, to this I always, position. I always try not to post too much because I don't, you know, I don't want to be that guy that hammers like gym stuff on. I just Whoa. try. No, no, no. I know, <laughs> I know you put stuff up now and again. No, no. I'm saying I know. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy. I enjoy. I watched the one yesterday. You like that with the barbell. You just yeah. like it was. I thought, is that even made of anything? It's double speed. Just, it's two speed. That's a, what's that? I, I doubled the speed. Oh, it's not as quick as... Okay, I, I don't, how do I do this for a living? I'll never know. I saw you doing that. I thought, hang on a minute. I did. You actually doubled the speed, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a moron. Yeah. I am a moron. But no, I, I we... It, it, like it, I don't know how I let it get so bad, but it did get to a point where I tried to get into the back of a taxi. I couldn't do the seatbelt, and I thought, oh, I thought, shit. So that's... Uh, like that's pretty bad. So me and my me and my two mates, uh, like Ben and John, we um like we're really really good mates. We we like playing cards and stuff. So we said right, let's have a prop bet. I said we'll do we'll we'll weigh ourselves. We'll do our BMI. We'll do one year. Um, I can't remember. We we're gonna put some money on it. I can't remember the exact figure. Like we'll do one year. Whoever loses the most or drops the percentage yeah. wins. We agreed to it. We agreed the terms. You know, we'd have like monthly weigh-ins and stuff. And then uh, one of them had a few issues that week and was like, right, I'm not going to do it. And I thought, I, I thought, right, I thought, fuck it. It was like a Tuesday night. I thought, right, fuck it. I was like, tomorrow, I don't care. I am doing it. I remember I got, yeah. I got a horrific five guys. I was like, this is it. I was like, this is the last, like at least for a while, I said, I've got to do it. So yeah, I then yeah, bought like bought George Foreman. That'd be a highly recommend. People always ask for a recommendation. It's huge. George Foreman is so good. Yeah. Like you can just if you if you're plain and simple, I like really plain and simple food. You can just rustle up. Honestly, you chuck a bag of microwave veg in the in the microwave, some rice, like mm. honestly, a bag of Uncle Ben's whatever is a quid, yeah, chuck yeah. it in the microwave, a couple of chicken breasts. Yeah. And people, you, people think like and if you going like, on a fitness journey and health is a, is a difficult process. It's boring, honestly. Yeah, but no, it's not. No, but I, it's it's also quite addictive once yeah. you get into the once you get into the mindset of it. Absolutely. Because I, I, different things work for different people. For me, I found that fasting was the real way to go, which helps a lot of my sleeping pattern. Yeah. Because I'd eat before I'd stream. And then sometimes I'd have like a meal in the morning. But if I, I, I kind of got into a mindset was, actually, if I'm shattered and I know I'm going to go to bed, there's no point me eating. Yeah. I might yeah, just sleep because I'm going to be asleep in 10 it, minutes. It does yeah. actually help you sleep better as well. A fasted state makes yeah. you sleep better because so, you're not processing food. Yeah. Oh. If you eat too soon before bed, you have a worse night's sleep. Holy shit. What yeah. I, 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 I think to start with, I was just cutting out a lot because to be fair, for a month or so, I went really strict, like nothing, you know, no takeaway, only this kind of just kept a kept to that then I started doing walking which also was pretty addictive especially with COVID like going yeah, for like because yeah. where I live there are some lovely places some really really nice places to go so I found just putting my headphones in and going for like a three hour walk or something and, and, and over time I built it up like I, I, I mean this is coming from someone and if people think they can't do it trust me you bloody can like, yeah. you might, and I was the guy that thought you can't do it I, I used to get knackered walking from the minibus to the football ground and now I can run 5k and yeah, I never amazing. thought I'd be able to run 5k. How, how much have you lost if you don't mind? Um, like 11 stone. 
That's so ridiculous. yeah, seventy-two kilos. I think I'm nearly under. I'm really. I'm, it's this last bit. That's of a doing human. My head that's like a whole it's other. Crazy. He, he lost Chris MD. <laughs> yeah, wait. Basically, that's more, that's more yeah. than Chris, right? Chris is about seventy. Yeah, yeah, that's so. seventy kilos. Is what I've lost. I'm trying to like. I'm literally trying to get through this last bit to get under a hundred. And it's it's. It, 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 I found to start with it. It flew off. Yeah, yeah. It just then it plowed, and I had around like the one ten mark for about a month, and that's where it's really difficult. I try. I, I used to weigh myself every week now i do it like every two or three because yeah. i just find it it's a lot easier and, and I, I couldn't get through that and then once then i got through that it was flying again and now it's again it's but i but i know even though necessarily the, the numbers aren't there i know i'm still fitter and yeah, yeah, yeah. i kind of feel guilty sometimes if i don't go because I, I plan to I, I i know in my head if i'm gonna go the next day because like right now i'm thinking right tomorrow morning i'm gonna go well yeah or, you, or, well, you, well, said, well, you said morning. earlier you fully see out what you commit to right? yeah so, you so if i don't go for example like people won't know we're recording this in the afternoon when like i'll go home sleep stream yeah i know i'll be tired after my stream today but i i want to go so yeah. i don't go i know i'll be disappointed yeah. there are days where i just say to myself right you're not going today so i once i know in my head i'm not gonna yeah yeah just don't over, I think just no overthinking it. I'm a lot more, I say lenient with eating. I still really, I don't eat chocolate, like barely on the weekend. I might have something. I drink water. Water's massive. Yeah. I pretty much drink tea and water. Yeah. And if I have fizzy drinks, I don't have, I drink, just drink diet drinks. Yeah. I tend to find that's one of the ways to do it. I kind of sit myself now on my- Oh, my, my, mate, the, the amount of people that drink sugary drinks and don't realize yeah. the effect it's having on them, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, my, my um, shout out to my mate, Sam, he goes to the footballs, one, one of my best mates. He goes, he's lost probably about the same. He refuses to weigh himself, but I, he might have even lost more than me. He's yeah. done the same. He's, he's been cycling like 25 miles and stuff. Wow. He's been on a crazy thing as well. And he just said to me, I just do it like a um, Monday to Friday. You just keep it. Because I'm really plain. I pretty much eat too much. I, I eat a lot of Nando's, but I get like butterfly, a wrap, mashed yeah. peas, yeah. broccoli. So yeah, and a lot of pasta, which I know pasta is obviously super high for carbs, but keeps me going. Yeah. It's, Energy it's, source, mate. It's mental. It's mental. And then, yeah, the gym, I normally go in like silly o'clock in the morning. I tend to find, I know a lot of people, I think a lot of people don't like, I, I try not to go when it's busy, but I yeah. think after a while you just... You kind of just realise that other people are exactly the same, that they're yeah. just there to do their own. I used to have that, like, with start, I think starting the gym is very off-putting. Like, you always think, you always think mate, well, everyone's watching yeah, you. Yeah, but you and think like, everyone's two, actually Two, three weeks doing... in, you're like, oh, no one cares. Mate, and also, I, I've, if anything... I've if, spoken about this many a If time. anything, no one cares. But if anything, they... they they're like they they're like happy appreciate to appreciate the fact yeah. that you're trying to do something. Like, there's a difference. Like you're yeah. in there grinding. There's people back home that aren't. Yeah, like, you're the one in there. It th there's a I to be fair, I didn't start going to the gym probably until about six or seven months in. And to start with, I couldn't even run a K or, you know, I couldn't run for that long. And like, I, I, I beat my goal because I do some cycling sometimes in there. And I Go done, on. I, I did 15K in under 30 minutes recently, which has been nice. one of my cycling. Fucking hell. But yeah, I wanted to try That's and beat that. That's very good. That's actually very, very good. Yeah, I wanted to try and beat that. So I managed to do it just. But it's, 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 all, it's really weird. Do you know, it's always like a silent gym community that you go in because of the time of morning you go. It's, yeah. it's always, there's not, sometimes there's not many people in there. Yeah. Not, never always. But it's always the same people. And you, yeah. Yeah, you never yeah, yeah. really like directly speak, yeah. but you always know they're always on the. Because I've got a tr the same treadmill I like to go on. I always like to go on. So, so you got your proper morning routine of going. Yeah, to the gym yeah, yeah. If yeah. I tried to, but I like to go on the same wheel. I like to go on the same treadmill. It's nicely placed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a <laughs> nicely. I and I I, I'm also convinced that the speed. Whenever I whack up to max, I'm convinced it doesn't go to max, max. It makes me feel a bit better about myself. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it up. Because if I go on another one, I, I doesn't. I don't like it because I think the speed's wrong. Yeah. So yeah. But there's a, there is actually a lady. She goes in the morning to the gym, and I know she likes that treadmill i saw her coming there with that i had to run together <laughs> fight for it yeah i was like i was like right no water just go yeah come on it come on it it's mine yeah. just give me a little look i don't think she was too happy i think she do what no nice. but you do you do see the same people and and you see the transformation of people as well yeah you you watch it yeah, over time you, like if you have regulars you, that you yeah see. you slowly see it yeah you slowly see has it has anyone come up to you in in there and been like mate what you've done so far because obviously there's people that have watched your journey there's been a couple yeah, yeah there's been a couple I mean, there's not really many in, as I said not really many in there at that time <laughs> of morning but no there was one guy I was, I was on the bike and my head was down and he wanted a yap and I was like just one second there mate I was like absolutely gunning it yeah, like yeah. in the middle of a <laughs> middle of a thing but now you see it you do see it and then you do see some people that go in there and don't do anything you see yeah, them going yeah, I bet yeah. you see that a lot yeah 
I do. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like but that? But don't go crazy, like, as well, for people that are looking to get into it. Like, I don't go mental. Like, I'll just yeah, I think, I think people... If I do a half an hour, a good little half an hour, like, I feel enough, that's, that's yeah. good enough for me to know that I've done something. I think yeah. people overestimate the amount you need to do in order to see genuine positive change in your physical appearance. Mm. And it only starts small and then just develops from there. Yeah. Right? It's a mind thing, really, as well, because I still feel like... Uh, like do you know what I mean? I still don't feel like I'm happy with it. Yeah. And that's weird, even though it's gone like crazy. But you're happier, right? You've, oh yeah, oh yeah. much happier, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I am much happier. It's just yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot better than it was. I still don't feel like I'm at that level I want to be yet. Is it a no. weight is it a weight goal or just a you just keep continuing? Yeah, grinding I think just continuing. I'm already pa like I, I'm a, I am a bit more casual with it now. Like was I had a croissant or whatever today yeah, yeah. or like last night I had a more moderation. Because I'm away, yeah, but I know I'm not gonna go home and have a I know as soon as I'm back home, right, that's it. I can that's a difference now and it is it is come from even the whole like the whole gambling stuff. Like inside with food, I know I know I, I have to be sensible because yeah. I know if I, I I find for me and this is another tip if you don't if I don't buy it I don't eat exactly. it exactly mate it's I know so I, simple I order a lot it of, really I'm, is I'm lucky that I can get a Nando's on delivery yeah. right? I get that I'm lucky I could get a Nando's on delivery that's mainly just because I'm lazy really I could just buy the ingredients and yeah. do it myself but sometimes you're a bit pressed for time yeah. and it needs to be done but yeah, if I I had a I had a party and then like like people have left stuff. I mean, just please eat it or just yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah. Like, don't leave it in the house because I else I'll eat it. Yeah. I don't want to eat it. I'll just snack at it. Yeah. Because if you got a bag of crisp, I'll eat a bag of crisp. I know I will. So I just don't buy it. And I find it's really easy to do that if you don't. It's not in the house. Yeah, you structure yeah. your environment for success. It really helps. It's a simple thing, but it really does help. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, that, Karen. I can say, do you have any? Um, so for me, like I need to have like a, a goal, like a, a race or something I'm working towards. Otherwise, I literally won't train. Yeah. Do you have anything like that you're working towards? I mean, or anything you have any aspirations to do? Yeah, getting under the 100 kilos is yeah. my, like that was the... That's... Then there's a new one, right? Well, After yeah, that, yeah, just keep going. Yeah. Well, originally I wanted to lose, I wanted to lose 50 and then I was just going to like almost effectively stop. And then I just decided, well, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like super buff or anything like that. Or I just... Yeah, I'm just going to, I think, I think that the, the key for me is once I get to a point where I'm like happy is then not to, just to keep a good, Yeah. That's, I think really that's the point I'm at now where I'm not going mental. I'm not absolutely, I'm just li got a good balanced yeah, yeah, yeah. lifestyle. I yeah. think that's the best way to have it. And the fitness is actually more like, not just because I want to lose weight. It's just because I like, sometimes I find it's a good so I just like just go on. It's like, so weird to say benefits. that. I never got to say it. I don't, you know, it's a weird enjoyment. I think, yeah. oh. Mate, you're, you're, you're talking to two people that yeah. actively keep fit. So oh, we, I know you're know. I mean, I mean, I see your stories and it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Looking at the cycling stuff. It's oh. fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely unreal. I was saying earlier, I was speaking to Well, I've been your end cycling. It's horrible in the hills. Have you done it? The hills, no, not down there, but oh. I've, 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 I hate, I fucking hate hills. Yeah. You know I do. Every time we go on a ride, every time we're like we cycle somewhere, he just, he leaves me on the hills. I despise them. Got to feel the pain, man. It's enjoyable. The burn. Yeah. You love the burn. Yeah. I like it at six a side, but yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying playing six a side. It's like, it's yeah, nice. I see your stories about six a side. Yes. Yeah. The this is the thing. The first time I played six a side was probably like six months ago and I couldn't do six minutes. And now I played nearly the whole game the other night mm. and I wanted to keep going. And I thought, well, what, what, I could. What's the position? Well, I do sometimes play in goal, but my finger's been a bit dodgy. So my mate's playing goal. So we play, I play outfield. Bit defensive. No, I still, I'll never forget your, uh, your cap at Clash of Creators. Oh, yeah. It's, Are I you in the next one? Uh, yeah, yeah, but been, it's, it's been got, moved. Yeah, it has, yeah. it has. Yeah, I am playing again. You're going to go? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't mind playing goal. Like, I, I enjoy, I love all the football stuff. Like, I do enjoy doing that sort of thing. Those yeah. those videos are fun to do. That Chris video, we did, oh, that will haunt me. That penalty was so bad. Don't, oh, don't, for mention, the, for the, don't mention it. You shouldn't mention yeah, it. I had a great day. Yeah, man. No. I had oh. such a good day. Do you know what? I was so, ner I was so, so nervous doing that video because... I really, really, really did not want to do any of the, like, I was yeah, happy to shave fits. my hair off, yeah, but yeah. like, I, I just like, you, you can't, it's like being a Chris MD video, I just thought I have to do it. I was like, cause I told Chris, I said, I give him a no, and it hurt me to say no, but I thought I don't yeah, want to- The forfeits were so horrendous. I, yeah, I said, I don't want to let you down. I thought I don't want to, I thought I've got to do it. I got to commit to it. And obviously it's horrible to say no, cause I get, I get on well with Chris and it's a Chris MD video. Yeah, of yeah. It, 
it's massive and yeah. I thought I really want to do it and then he said oh we're changing it up and I thought just bugger it I'll do it and I was and, and, and the thing is as soon as I didn't get a forfeit yeah, I just thought I was, was buzzing and yeah, then yeah. I thought, that was I thought even itself. if I don't win anything I don't care it's like I'm, we're in the video we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're yeah. doing it we're here and then yeah and then obviously I felt like I let everyone down I didn't think the penalty no. was too bad no it, just, it wasn't that bad Mate, I, I watched I felt, it back though and it wasn't, it wasn't great <laughs> I felt the same like, I, it was a win when it landed on not a forfeit Oh, oh that, yeah, instant result, yeah. Mate, that's, that's, or, because obviously I did end up receiving a forfeit. And not obviously, I think we won. Yeah. So we didn't, I didn't end Thanks up doing a bad job. Thank, like you, the, thank the, you, John, for not saving that penalty. Uh, yeah, that but saved. literally like the, as soon as the our winning penalty went in, I was like, oh my God, that relief is. That's how it was. I almost bailed on it that morning. I said no, I, took th I said no for three weeks. I was like, I'm not, there's no way. Yeah. There's no way. And then I almost, and I got my watch stolen the night before. And I was like, God, I bottled it so badly. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Oh, it hurt me. I, it, like, I was in horrible pain after that. I was in horrible pain. That was a long train journey. Yeah, it you? was a long train. It was life contemplation. I'm going to tell you that now. There was life contemplation. Um, well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my choked on my own air we've yet for a while haven't we yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's been good it's been really good I've, I've absolutely loved it. thoroughly enjoyed this mate we're yeah. going to have to get you on for a live stream next season oh, I'd love if, to if do you're that. in London yeah, yeah I'd if love you're to. in London no, provided it's not an, an away game or an Ireland yeah. oh, yeah. Tuesday nights are normally alright yeah, yeah, Champions League uh, yeah European football we can yeah certainly no get I'd work, absolutely right? love to do that get the badge yeah. in again hey gotta be done isn't it gotta be done are on a Thursday no, they're not. No, they're not. They You're on a Thursday. We're on a Thursday. We're on a Thursday. You're on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, it. we'll get you on a Spurs game. We'll get you and Danny on it if you want. Oh, I'd love no, that. No, Spurs will be on a Thursday. Why? When they go crashing out and into the... Oh. Yeah, but they're still games before I'd love that. that. I would absolutely we'll get, love that. We'll get that. you and Danny on for a, for a Spurs game. That would be awesome. Yeah. 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 All right. Two Arsenal, two Spurs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this podcast. Has been... An absolute belter, I really say so myself. Thank you so much for coming on. No, mate. thank you for having me. Honestly, I've absolutely loved it. It's oh. been in the works for a long while, and we've we've loved every loved second. It. So it's we been always worth. say this: the last show, the last show, the last show. Oh yeah, the last until one. until this show gets picked up, we're just going to keep yeah. signing it. Oh, this is the last one, is it now? Yeah, basically. There we go. Thank you. You want to do outro? Yeah. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching us per usual. Remember to rate us five stars on Apple and Spotify. Uh, check is. out all of Pi's socials in the description. It's been a wonderful experience and top guest. Thanks once again, mate. Thank you very much, boys. And we'll see you all in the next one. Beautiful. Ta-da!